Yo, yo. I am live. If I can do a quick test, see how everything sounds. Whoa. Mic test, mic test. Today, the build will be finished. Today, the build oh, will be I gotta mute this over here. Okay. Turn the free fly off. Alright, let's turn the HUD back on. The build will be finished today, finally. And I've been having a lot of fun streaming this. But I have spent way too much time on this build. Way more than intended. At least double the amount of time I intended. But that's okay. Build is looking sweet. Lots of things done yesterday. Got the, uh, the treasury room done yesterday. All the different types of storage. And uh, the shrine. The little desk for the bookkeeper. The treasury here. Uh, if you want to see more about what's been done so far. Check out the end of the last stream. But I... I'm going to go ahead and get to work actually on today's uh, build, which is the final two rooms. This room right here, which is the dining room, and this room up here, which is going to be the armory. So I think I want to get started first with the armory. Pretty excited about this. Lots of potential here. Oh, let me slow down my speed. Wait, I think I do it like this, right? I'm still trying to f learn how to do this. I just found out about this the other day. Oh, it doesn't seem to be slowing down. Shift, slow down. Is that how it works? Well, I thought that's how it works. Oh, okay, I guess it was slowed down. Yeah, there it goes. Okay. So for the armory, I'm thinking lots of armor. But I'm also thinking... <laughs> Lots of weapons, uh, weapon racks type of things, all sorts of stuff. But first things first, I've got to cover up this really ugly floor. So I'm going to do that right away. Let's see, something like this probably would be nice. Maybe something like that. Actually, I might want to copy the same way I did it over here. Uh... Over here, it sticks out. Nah, it's cool, it's cool, it's cool, it's cool. It's over here, that sticks out like that. Alright. Oh, that's a little too slow on the fly speed. Alright. Time to make a floor. I wonder if I can make it just slightly lower than this, though. So, let's see. It needs to be, it needs to be like just right on the iron. Yeah, maybe if I just place it on the iron, that'll actually, that'll do. Yeah. And then, yeah, I'll go with that. Oh, I forgot to change the name of the stream. Nice. I'll change it in after the stream. Whoops. It is actually... Stream number five, but I forgot to update it. That's okay. That is okay. I'm gonna get this floor in, and then I can start building the armory. I'll get the floor in, and then I've got to make this look pretty. So what I did on the other side with these support beams for the roof is I actually made them into a really cool structure, and I'm gonna just copy this same type of structure over on the other side. And uh, yeah. Obviously, the room's going to be very different. This is like the bedroom or the sleeping quarters, whatever you want to call it. And, uh, yeah, across the way, we're going to have uh, the armory. Good vibes today. Feeling good. Got some good sleep last night. Going to be a nice final stream for this build. 
little bittersweet. I've had a lot of fun doing this build. Five streams in total took it took to actually finish it, but um, while I say that, I hope I finish it today. Boy, I hope I finish it today because <laughs> I've already spent like over 20 hours on this build. Okay, in a second, I'm going to have to run outside and make sure none of these floor pieces are sticking through the wall. Because yesterday I did have a few that ended up sticking through, so I don't want to do that. Um, yeah, like that right there might be, but it might not. There's a three-layered wall out there uh, from here to the outside, so there are a few layers that I can kind of, that I have to play with there. All right, all right. Getting this floor on. Oops, I don't know where that one went, but that's okay. Nice. Okay. Hopefully it'll give me... Let's see. Actually... Line it up with these. That could be a little bump. Yeah, I'd rather not have that, but I mean, who's gonna notice? And if I go any higher, it'll be above this, and that'll look even more weird. So I'm gonna go with that. I'm gonna use that to fill in along the stone here. All right, and then on this side. All right. Looking good. The room is getting ready. Now, unfortunately, there is a little bit of smoke coming through the floor because the kitchen is right below here, but that's all right. That's all right. So... Yeah, I've got some sh some stuff I need to do first, some infrastructure. I do need to add a staircase, so I might just go ahead and get that out of the way first. How did I actually... Look at that. That actually like, doesn't even line up, but the staircase does work. It's interesting that I did that like that. I wonder if I snapped it on the floor first or what, but that's okay. Alright, grab a ladder. Oops. Okay. All right, just in front of the door a little bit. Not too bad, could be worse, could definitely be worse. Man, maybe I should do the dining room first. I can't wait to do this room with the cool floor and everything. That's gonna be amazing. that'll be I guess just in like an hour or so once I get done here with the armory oh let's see so the thing needs to stick out right here go over three and come this way right I think that's right yep that's right it's gonna be pretty sweet armory right here Bedroom over across all the different beds, bunk beds, big beds. Below this is the crafting and forging room, and below the armory is the kitchen. Pretty sweet. Kitchen looking good. Big fireplace. Oops. Crafting and forging room looking good. Love how this little room came out. Really love how it came out. Oops. And then the harbor outside. We got the crane going over here. The bridge. Towers. Man, it's really come together. Still a good amount to do though, so.
this handrail on. If I can sneak one in over here. Okay. Nice. Got a little balcony just like I could do over here. And a little staircase. I wonder if I should not do a handrail on the staircase. It'd be a little less like claustrophobic in here without a handrail. I like that better. This is an interesting space. It's going to be a little weird for a dining room. I don't know how this is going to be a dining room, but it is going to be a dining room. I was thinking about maybe doing like a diagonal table through here, but I don't think there's enough room for seats and stuff. So it's probably going to be like a big round table on both sides, maybe in the center on both sides. Uh, and then like a bunch of food all around and stuff gonna be pretty sweet okay so I think I actually get rid of these if I remember correctly oh no I only get rid of the innermost one of those that I just destroyed nice uh, hopefully I can get those back or I can just bring this across actually okay another one and one more Okay, so destroy these and these. Big nice opening. One, two. Huh, why is this off? It's supposed to be off? Oh, it's because on the other side, it only goes to here. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Okay. This is the middle of the room, right? Not quite, but pretty much. I mean, pretty much. Yeah, this one is off just a little bit too, but that's okay. I'm going to replicate this wall over on the other side too. I've got to replicate the supports up at the roof. Oh, I did those. Um... And I already replicated the floor, so yeah, and then I can get to work on the armory. So let's see, it's going to be a post here, post here. It's going to go straight up with 45s all the way to the wall. Okay, okay. Five. Then there's another 45 coming right through the middle, which goes straight through. Assuming like that. Maybe. Yes, indeed. Okay. And another one over here. Oh, which one is it? I think it's that one. I believe it's that one. Hmm. This might be. I might have to look this way to get the snapping point. Okay, there we go. So that is part of the wall done. But it also needs another line, and then lines going that way. Okay, okay. So I'm assuming... I need lines going this way, so I think, yep, that's right there. I think that's it, actually. That was actually pretty easy to copy over compared to the rest it's going to be. Um, okay, add some of these guys. I think that is the same. Actually, it might just be another one over in order. Yeah, there's like one over in the corners.
Yeah. Okay. Looking good. Looking good. Okay. I need some lights in here. I can't see a thing. Alright. Uh, next, 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 next. I need to copy. Uh, get rid of all this stuff. Copy now all of the frame for this, which is going to be very tricky. I know that it's got these on the bottom. There's all the way to the top, and it's got the little shoes on the top, too. Little shoes and little hat. It goes into beams. Okay, got it. Just going to do it in stages. Place some of these. And then place two of these. I had to put all these iron poles here to support the roof. This, this is a very tall tower, so uh, I just figured I would come up with a clever way to hide it. And I think, I honestly think this worked out really nice. I think it looks really cool. Really, I think kind of adds to the, you know, the roof space, which would have just been a big open space anyway. Uh, okay, so then I need to cover up the poles and come backwards with 26s. Okay. I think I can remember all that. It's kind of a lot, but that's okay. Whoops. So, cover up all these. Nice. And then come back with the 26s. All right, nice. I think they went upwards too. I think. Nice. Looking pretty good already. It did go upwards. Sweet. That saved me a trip. And I just bring some 45s. One, two, three, and one. Sweet. I get started on the armory now. I think that's everything. So I get these to place. And one right here. Nice. Alright. And that does not look right. There we go. That definitely was not right. Um... Okay, another one down. Not really sure where... Oh, I had it for a second. There it is. There it is. Okay, and another one. And one more. Nice, I was getting used to it there. Okay. So the roof supports are in. The floor is in. Um, let's see, the deck is fully in. Okay. I'll come into the dining room later. What to do about the armory though? How to even get started in here? Um, well, I'm definitely going to have a lot of armor stands. A lot of armor stands. But I think it'd be cool to have more than just that, of course. Lots of weapons and stuff on the walls. Don't think I really need anything from the crafting tab. Maybe I'll come back to that later. Possibly like a little iron gate like stored away spot for like some protected storage. Um, yeah, I don't know. Let's see. Let's just get started with it. 
So I don't know if I want to go for like some symmetry here. Maybe have like weapons straight ahead, armor on one side, armor on one side, and then more weapons here. I don't know. Should there be more weapons than armor or more armor than weapons? That's a good question too. I don't know. Well, I'm going to get started with this side, the possible weapons side. So I definitely want to create some type of weapons rack. It looks kind of cool. So maybe do, but I do, I want it to be multi-layered though. I don't want to just have a weapons rack here. Yo, 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 what's up? I, uh, I'm working on the armory, I'm trying to figure out how I want to do this. Oh, voice crack. I don't know how I want to do this yet, but I'm going to figure it out real soon. Good luck to you today. Thank you, friend. Probably going to be a shorter stream, but I did want to stream a little bit of this uh, since it is kind of the end of the project. Thought I'd finish it out by streaming it. Okay, so this would be cool. Maybe something like some legs to those tables. Oh, now I kind of want to do hard. Well, I can do that over there too. But yeah, let me set that up everywhere. That looks lovely definitely going to use this probably all the way around might change that later but i don't know that's pretty cool works really well with the uh with the window sills so let's add some of these if i can get there we go yeah i like these a lot just some simple shelves, which I can use for whatever. On the sides with armor, that's going to be great for putting some armor stands up and kind of like off the ground. So they're kind of displayed. And I might even be able to put like another shelf, have like two lower ones and then like a higher one or something. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. I do want to do a, a big weapons rack somewhere. I wonder if I should do that. Try to, mm, how to do this, how to do this. Let's see. So I, I could do it right into the shelves, but that would be ugly. Yeah, let's get rid of that. I don't want to get rid of the windowsills, but I feel like it would look better for the weapons rack if I did. Here, let's experiment. I can add those back in a little bit, if need be. Jeez. At least add that line, make that look a little bit better. Get some weapon racks going. So I don't know. Let's get one in the center actually and then go out from there. I think that would be the safest bet uh, to make sure that it ends up symmetrical. So definitely, if it's just going to be weapons, it can be a lot closer than if it's armor. So I'm going to go with just around that much space. Hopefully, I can kind of estimate correctly and get the same on both sides, but we'll see, we'll see. One, two, three, four, five, six. So let's see if I can get five over here, just like I did five over there. More decorating. What's going on, Jeremiah? My weakness. I like building structures and support to get as tall as possible. I honestly feel that exterior work is way more enjoyable than interior work, but it's nice to do it all though, you know? I feel like it's really rewarding once you finish all the interior stuff too. It's like, ah, 
Yes, I completed the build. That's why I decided to stream today. I was going to do this off camera, but I was like, I've streamed so much of the rest of the build. I might as well just stream the end of it. Might as well. I got some good sleep last night. I'm feeling nice. See if I can get this to line up. Okay. Sweet. Turn the racks around so the weapon is displayed in front. I think that is wonderful advice. And I'm really glad I hadn't done all of them. Almost all of them, but I hadn't done them all. So let's see. Let's flip this around. Start with the center one for sure. So everything else is correct. And here we go again. <laughs> And another one. And another one. There we go. You gotta level up my interior game. Yeah, I think um I've been thinking like the build tip videos I've been planning. I think it'd be really nice to do like an exterior one, then an interior one. Um that would be like the easiest way for me to split it up, but I might split it up even more. But I think for sure, I'll have one interior video because I don't think there's a I can't I don't really have enough interior knowledge to do a bunch of videos. I mean, a lot of it is just learning how to do shelves, really shelves and cabinets and filling up walls with shelves and stuff. I think is really, really, really important. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. OK, let's see if I can add two more really quick. All right. So we've got a weapons rack now before I start putting that is much better. I agree. And I honestly love how they look this way. I hate that this is the back of them. Because it looks really cool on this side. With like the little like leather straps. Uh, but yeah. Before I start putting weapons on. I think there should be a really cool way. Or something that. I can make this really look like a weapons rack. And I'm wondering what exactly that would be. In fact. I wonder if I can reduce the size of these shelves almost to nothing, bring the weapon racks, two more, and get it right lined up with there. Actually, really, just one more might be perfect. Just get it right to where it's next to that beam. I could maybe place like some kind of like little wall here, you know? Try to make it seem like it's all it's all connected. Uh, uh, it doesn't really quite look like what I was thinking. Maybe? Actually, that's not bad. That's not bad. Yeah, that's not bad at all. Certainly get a weapon rack vibe. Um, what else could I add to make this feel like a weapon rack? Obviously, some weapons, but. Um, hmm. Might be able to use some banners cleverly here. Might be able to use some banners here. That could actually help a lot. Possibly some iron stuff, but I don't really think that's necessary. I wonder if like... Nah, uh, you can't really. I wonder if I could run these like in front of it, like going down. It would be like a place to set things, you know? Like, let me see exactly where the weapons, the crystal battle axe is pretty tall. So let's see where they go. Oh wow, so that's diagonal. Do they all go diagonal? Because that would be really good to know now, before I start adding details that might be hidden. 
let's just grab a sword. Uh, mace. Cool mace. Also probably a spear, because those are kind of long. Can I put the abyssal harpoon in there? Oh, you can. Yeah, spears are crazy. Okay. So... Okay, that's interesting. I once built the double shelves on top. I had the shelves on the bottom, weapons, and under the bottom shelf there was crypt keys to make some glowing effect that looked amazing. Not a bad idea. Get some crypt keys under there for something. Not a bad idea at all. I was thinking I could put these and then I could set on these like some daggers and stuff as it goes down. Problem is is that these will interfere with some things just a little bit it seems let's put the other two on sword no problem mace no problem so really just the longest things are going to be a problem what about uh just experimenting here really quick where what do the tower shields end up doing here All right okay so whoops oh, wait, there we go which one of these is that on well, i can tell which one this one's on so i'll do it so that will cover up the sword. So I can't use tower shields. But that's okay. I might do another rack with tower shields. Or I'll just do a wall display with tower shields. They look so good on the wall. Honestly, I'll probably just do that. Probably just do that. Um, I wonder. It's like you really don't need the bottom of the armor stands viewable. Like they, they look kind of cool, but... I could definitely cover them up with like some chests. Chests are too tall. Nope, not some chests. Maybe, uh, yeah, just like a little kind of shelf that I could stick out. Oh, that's actually letting me place it on the stools. That's interesting. So I could combine the stools with the wood. Huh, that's an interesting idea. Never done that before. Does just a little bit kind of clip into the bigger stuff, but I can just not use the crystal battle axe in the bigger stuff. Now over here, I'm going to have to do some fancy free placing if I'm going to keep this in. I'm really just experimenting right now. Um, a weapons rack is very new to me, so I'm just kind of seeing what I can do with it. Let's see if I can free place this. Oh, it's just about letting me do it, but I guess the the weapons rack is just a little bit farther forward than the other side. Or I wonder if I could scoot the stool back. Don't you think that there are too much stands? Maybe it would be better to put some banners between them? I don't know. I mean, I was just hoping to get like a... Like, um... Like a weapons rack feel, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know, like you see in like a a movie or something like i don't know why i keep thinking of like gladiator when they're like picking weapons i mean that is so close that you probably won't be able to tell let me just i just want to see what this looks like that actually does look pretty cool obviously i will have to get rid of the crystal battle axe um and i wonder if i should just like use swords going all the way down for this rack or what and you know what i'm even thinking hear me out maybe even another level of this rack up above if i used all short things like all swords then i could do another level up above like if i did spears it'd be poking into that level but like let's see i could definitely do see i could go up even taller and i could add just a floor in or um, for the next level and place armor stands all on these that could be pretty cool I might not be able to do the shelf thing on the bottom though I don't even know if I'm going to keep that yet though but whoops there goes my hammer um, let's see what it would look like if I did some second layer bear with me here definitely just experimenting a bunch um 
you know just trying to see what might look good i think it was right around that distance hopefully i can get the distance right again so it'll actually like be kind of symmetrical to the bottom more here and one more right around there i mean that actually is pretty cool Okay. All right. Another one. Another one. Understand. Kind of like the armor stand wall over here but once there is let's see what kind of swords are we working with here i already did an iron sword also a silver sword what's up fortnite gamer hello bronze sword you have a black metal sword get some of these in there these are too big for this get rid of those so I guess as it goes, the iron sword would be the worst. I think that's the right rank. I don't know. I could probably just check the damage numbers. Um, so... Silver sword has really high backs. Oh, they, okay. I guess swords just have better backs than them. station level three repair yeah okay so that is correct so two three four five i mean that's pretty cool and then maybe i could do like some maces over like on the right side working fine would probably be the best mace i would guess sledgehammers too could go on there I don't think those would be too long for this setup. Rossner is a hammer. Or is it a, yeah, it's a hammer. It looks like a hammer at least. It definitely looks like a hammer. Okay, and that's really it for the hammers. Oh, there's axes too, which would be Kind of fitting for this setting. This is everything. Oh no, that's my actual weapon. Uh, so when it comes to maces, it would be these three in that order. I guess I could do two, three, four. Kind of cool. Still wondering if I should do this too. It's gonna be hard to line them up now that I've got these floor pieces here, but I'm just gonna place them all really quick. Get like an idea of what it looks like. I mean, there's potential there. It definitely needs like a like a roof or something. It will actually let me do this. It will let me do that. Nice. Okay, I changed my name. It's better I hated that name. <laughs> Random gamer, I like it. Welcome, welcome. A pretty nice 
weapons rack here going. It definitely still needs some stuff, but I'm liking it so far. I'm wondering if I should like run something up the middle. Some kind of... Like maybe I should get rid of the inner six and then like float three in the middle for like the most special weapons or something like that. Yeah, let me try that. Let me try that. I might super regret this, but that's okay. Okay, and then I'm going to try to find like, I guess it would be like right around here-ish. Bring in some more armor stands. Do the middle one first. Oh, that one was horribly off. Okay, and nice. And that's too tall. <laughs> I think that needs to drop a little bit. It's not really in the middle of everything. Like it kind of is, but... Let me drop it just a little bit. Yeah, like right there, actually. Wow, that was cool. Kind of automatically did that when I shift click. That was really nice. Okay. Probably do like right there ish. Put one over here and one over here. Kind of liking that. Now, the question is do I separate this now? Like, do I make. Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Let's get rid of all of these. Clean that up a little bit. Okay, okay. How many? I have three hammers, don't I? No, I only have two. Yeah, I have three hammers, and they're all pretty sweet. That actually would be perfect for this center thing. Oh, stag breaker, why? Let me see if stag breaker would look better here. Uh, it's gonna have to go over here and the big one oh, and then Frostner and then the big one hmm they all kind of they kind of mesh into each other but it's kind of cool maybe I do like bows right here bows would be cool right here and there's really not a lot of bows um, but they're honestly, they're probably going to run into each other too. Let's see. Draugr bow. Get rid of all this stuff. Pinewood bow and Huntsman bow. So, on, on air station. So maybe two, three, four. Oh, I kind of like that. The bow is there in the middle. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Now I want to see if I can get this to come over here. No, it's not going to be quite right. Well, let's try it anyway. It's pretty much right. So I'm wondering if I should separate these with like little walls. I think I'm gonna get rid of these. Yeah, let's get rid of these. That was a fun experiment, but that's a no-go. 
And I'm going to bring this over here. Julio Schmulio. Yeah, that's, that's looking pretty sweet. I'm a fan of that. Swords in one. Ma or, uh, maces. Yeah, that is a mace. What am I doing? Uh, hammers in another one, which I would love to do, but they seem to really be running into each other's kind of uh, skins. Let me see. Ooh, that is really ugly. Um, two. I could do three. No, I can't. Yeah, they really just can't go next to each other. That's really frustrating, but probably going to do something else because of that. Still have some options, though. Still have some options. I could do axes. Bunch of different axes I could do. At gears. Although, those are really long. I don't know. Let's try it anyway. That gears would be cool. Iron at gear. Okay. So let me put them over here. <laughs> okay, that was unplanned. Un unintended, I don't know. Uh, okay, so can't use at gears. What else? I guess there's axes is really it, but there's a lot of axes. Three, four, five. Get rid of these. Get rid of these. Okay, so I'm gonna do axes for this one, I guess. This next one. Probably just do all five of the regular ones. I guess there's the battle axes too. I could do battle axes across on the other side. Oh, let me have room for four. Okay, so let's see. I could do that there, and then I could bring in the battle axes. Okay. How do these look? Oh, wow, those look crazy. Um, yeah, I'm liking this. This is looking good. The lighting is definitely going to change in here, so I should probably get rid of these. Get rid of that. That's not enough lighting now, though. Maybe just do one like right here. And then I definitely want to do some stuff over here on the side. I don't think I need to support this anymore because I don't think that looks good at all. Some kind of big storage here since there's room. Small storage on the sides. Actually, you know what? I think I'd rather do like some seating here. And I can do another shelf or some storage like up top. No reason to use bottom space for storage. Uh, it almost needs an X make that make sense okay let's see tuck some storage into there tuck some storage into there chest on the side definitely want to do some type of weapon or something in the wall in here because I think that would be really cool it would kind of fit the theme um, 
just quick thinking, I feel like it'd be really cool to have those hammers that I couldn't fit. Uh, and maybe just stag breaker. Stag breaker is just like, it's always a weird size. Uh, what about the iron sledge? The iron sledge might be pretty cool here. Also massive. Okay. And there goes my hammer. Lower this just a little bit and see what... Okay, that's actually pretty cool. Alright. Um, these shelves need like a top or something, right? Uh, it's fine. It is fine. So maybe this, before I cover that up, I should do some hidden lighting back here. Whoops. Then cover that up. All right, sweet. Some really cool lighting for the armory. Um, yeah, it's looking pretty sweet. Uh, maybe some more lighting though somewhere else. Where else could I do that? Could almost do it like even, uh, let's see, let's see. Possibly even on the sides. I think I can make this to where you wouldn't be able to see it, I think. I hope. Uh, you can definitely see that. But that does look pretty cool. Um, what if I put the stool back? How much does that cover it? Covers it a little bit. I mean, it's okay if you can see it. Not the worst thing in the world. And I definitely want some cool lighting for the uh, for the armory, for the weapon stands. Oh, that one's like okay. Like turned off for a second. That one's way less bright because I got it tucked back a little more, I think, maybe. But you can kind of see it a little less. That's, I don't know, there's definitely a trade off there, but I think I'm going to just bring it forward a little bit. I want a, a lot of glow. All right. The whole weapon wall at this point should I cover should I do like a little line going across nah cause I feel like then I would have to do one going across nah that covers up too much of like parts of the weapon so I don't want to do that um definitely thinking about doing like you know, some kind of something in the top of each of these. I'm not sure what I want to do. I can't really do a banner because that's going to just block too much. I could do a banner. It's fighting, so I feel like red would be cool. I could do a banner back there, which I think is going to fit great. Got the windows behind these guys. Still feel like it needs a little more lighting, but I'm not sure what I want to do. I might end up putting more lighting in this room, though, so... Uh, you know, there's just random lighting right now, so we'll see about all that, but... Uh... What else, what else, what else? It's definitely looking nice. I like the bows in the middle. I like the little desks on the side. Storage up top. Would it look weird if I did even more storage? Let's see if it let's see if it messes with 
um, the design that is around the weapon racks. Uh, that's fine. I do at least need to be symmetrical. I think I needed to go out a little bit. Yeah, there we go. So I wonder if I should actually... I'd also see what it would look like if I did those. Made it a little bit thicker. that look better and then I could actually run it up here into the design let me try that really quick I still don't like how gotta eat some food I still don't like how the uh, top of the racks are open but that kind of gives some kind of effect on the top of the racks yeah I kind of like that I like that I like that um This is like the, the focal point. I want to put on one of them. I just want to put a sign that says. Weapons rack. Oh, I froze time. I really need to change that keybind. Uh, oh, auto save. Uh, yeah, just like have weapons rack up there, but then there put a pretty sweet trophy but if i do a trophy too big then it covers the design back in there oh you know what i bet you this is too big actually but i want to try it i love this trophy this is probably my favorite trophy yeah that looks pretty insane right there you can't really see the horns though which stick up back behind it but that still looks really cool I think I'm going to leave that. Very nice. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. How you doing today, Jeremiah? Having a good day? Let's see. What else? What else? What else? Oh, that's kind of weird. Fix that real quick. Make sure that... Oh, it's just kind of how the chest is. Oh, let's just pull the whole chest out a little bit. Yep, 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 yep. Well, I actually kind of like the idea of that. Just pull the whole chest, like, sticking out a little bit, actually. I don't know why I like the idea of that, but... It actually adds a little bit to the whole look. That's weird. I wouldn't have thought about that. It's interesting how you come up with things sometimes when you're trying to build a little area. It's, like, totally on accident. Um, I might even... This might be a little bit of overkill, but see if it looks good if I stack chest on top okay and then another one actually I like that that's kind of cool there's one in the corner and then one up top yo I keep running into this thing I don't know. I'm kind of liking this. I might, I might stop here. Um, probably fit that in. This place is looking awesome. Appreciate it, Dean. Good to see you, Dean. What a shot to show up on. Hey man, you should have seen it like 10 minutes ago. It looked terrible. <laughs> it is coming together now. Obviously, I started building the armory, Dean. So, nothing else yet. But this wall is coming together nicely. I might actually be done with it. I'm kind of I'm kind of liking this. Got the cool blue lighting in the back. It's not very bright, but um, I am going to add lighting. Let's go ahead and just add 
one of these guys. Yeah, because that's going to give it a little bit of lighting from kind of up above. Got the blue lighting from down below. I like that a lot. Spawn some coal to fill up the light so it doesn't go out. Okay. Um, I'm thinking that's really probably it. It's for this side. Whoa. Seagull just flew through the building. Um, yeah. I'm liking that. Alright. Next wall. So I kind of want to do armor on the side walls and then probably like a few more weapons again on the back so weapons kind of across from each other and armor kind of across from each other that does leave a massive empty space in the middle of the room which i could easily just cheat and do what i did over here place a big hearth that would be a quick way to get get through that but i'd like to do ideally some type of weapon related thing out here too I just don't quite know what that would be. Quick access kits. Wow, that's for some reason that's really hard for me to say. Quick access kits by the door. Large storage along the walls. Okay. So right here would be like kits to go. Genius. There are enough weapons in this wall. So kits to go over here. I am liking that i just had major deja vu that was weird i haven't had deja vu in a while that was so weird i just like envisioned that i was having that exact conversation about like weapons to go and like talking about this armor rack all right so kits to go i'll probably do that last and then on the sides the sides i think that would be where i would do armor and there's plenty of room here so i could do like all sorts of sets of armor now the question is, how many sets of armor are actually in Valheim? Bronze, Fenris, Iron, Leather, Padded, Rag, Root, Troll, and Wolf. Is that everything? Even Root's there. Uh, Fenris is the newest, right? I don't know, Root was also kind of new too, wasn't it? I think this is everything right here okay hold up but this type of thing i am gonna have to place so much stuff that i am gonna put a lot of things away right now. that's good enough and all right because i am gonna need some inventory space for this okay Fenris is dark cloak style. Okay. I've had Valheim Deja Vu, weirdly enough. It might just be something about the game where certain things just feel really familiar after long enough. I could absolutely see that being a thing. That would make sense. I do play this game a lot, so that would absolutely make sense. Good point, good point. Ooh, these are slightly off. That's going to freak me out. Go ahead and fix that. Actually, I don't know if I can because... Yeah, that's where the windowsill is. That's okay. It's just a little tiny gap. Okay, so if there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 sets of armor. So 4 on each side, and that leaves 1 out. And I, so I could just not do leather, basically. Uh, yeah, I think I'm just not going to do leather. Man, that kind of sucks though, because I have three nice spots. I need to put four on both sides. So let's just do, I could just do six things of armor, six sets of armor. For the best six. Take out, take out leather and troll. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine so i have to take out three so leather troll and then iron i guess so it'd be like the best ones and like the weird niche ones 
Oh man, I'm loving how this came together though. This is really nice. This is another Reddit picture, man. That Reddit post is gonna be great for this build because I've got this, I could just snapshot this. That's gonna be great. I mean, there are so many things outside I can snapshot. I'm getting really sidetracked right now, but I'm gonna do it. There's also the crane, which is gonna be a super sweet snapshot. I could make a post on that alone. Snapshot of the little crane operator's hut. <laughs> snapshot of the treasury, which goes all the way down. I don't know how I would snapshot that though. Just like the sides of the curvy staircases. The actual build itself. This is going to be sweet. This is going to be really fun, like making all the media for this build. I'm excited. So many things. Snapshot over here, too. Super cute little, like, room right here. <laughs> Got the crafting foraging room. Get a picture of both sides. I might actually add... Yeah, I'm getting super sidetracked now, but I might actually add spawn trophy or trophy neck. Do like some starter animals or something. Just to fill in those spots on that wall. Nice, nice, nice. All right, back to work, back to work, back to work. The armory. There's a lot of space in here. I'm worried to leave the center open and to place everything on the walls, but I guess I can deal with that afterwards. If I want to add some like kind of structure here, I can. Or I could just go with the fireplace. Okay, so I've got to choose six of the nine armors to display. Definitely Fenris. Let me write this down. So, Fenris, right, let's start it. Okay, Fenris, definitely padded because that's like pretty much the best in the game. Root looks really cool, gotta do that. What else in the list? Definitely Wolf, because Wolf is awesome. That leaves two more. Oh, so there's Rag and there's Leather, which I'm skipping, which is nice. So if I just skip troll, then, so that would leave iron and bronze then. Iron, bronze. Gotta do wolf. Definitely have to do wolf. I love uh, the wolf helmet thing with the horns. Is that the wolf helmet? What's that? No, no, that's the, uh, where are the helmets even? The dragon, the dragon helmet? Dr the Drake helmet. Love that helmet. Oh, man leave out troll and either iron or bronze yeah i think i'm gonna leave out troll rag and leather i think that's what i'm gonna leave out rag is garbage leather is garbage i like that troll is blue but it kind of it's the same kind of thing they're all just like rags basically so that leaves me with six if i just leave those three out what up I ixy i think that's how you say that what up ixy how you doing I think leather is iconic. I had that armor for so long. Rag is actually garbage, yeah. I know, that's the thing I was thinking about. Leather is kind of iconic, but... Okay, so you know what? I got an idea. I got an idea. I've got six spots, right? So, I've got a freaking great idea. This doesn't mean I have to put one armor in each spot. So in one spot, I could literally shove in rag, leather, and troll, since those are the same. And another I could put in iron and bronze. Those are similar, you know, so on and so forth. I am good. Thank you for asking, Ixi. Yeah, for sure. No problemo, no problemo. Thanks for stopping by the stream. So let's see if I can fit. I'm tempted to put rag, leather, and troll in a middle spot, actually, because it is, it is kind of iconic. Is that what you said? Yeah, iconic, I think is the word. That's how everybody starts, you know? I'm good. Well, of course, that's how everybody starts. It's the first in Jeebus armor, but... Just waiting on some friends at the moment. Couldn't think of a better way to spend the time. Nice, dude. You're too kind. You're too kind. All right, so... Yeah, I'm going to put them front and center. I wonder if I should put... Put, like, rag and leather and then put troll in the middle. 
Although leather is probably the more used one. I don't know. Wait, 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 wait. Gotta start with the one in the middle and go out for sure. Feather and rag have no arms. Good to know. So the troll goes in the middle then, actually. Good to know. Thank you. Okay. So... Leather pants or leather tunic. Leather pants. Rag tunic. Rag pants. Roll tunic. I didn't even craft rag. I've literally never even seen rag in this game. I just skipped past rag. It's that bad. <laughs> uh, oh, there's the capes too. I forgot about that. But troll hide cape. Might have to spawn the other ones. I don't see them here. Leather helmet. Troll leather helmet. Is there a rag helmet? Is there not even a rag helmet? They're like, dude, you don't even have head protection with rag. It's that bad. Why is like half the armor here, but like half of it isn't? Did I just miss it? Am I just dumb? I probably went right by it. Deer hide cape? That's what I, I did miss that. Yeah, so rag literally has nothing. <laughs> what? Is there no rag helmet? Spawn helmet. No, there's no rag helmet. That's crazy. The verger circlet. Leather helmet, I've never used one. <laughs> helmet. Yeah, there is a helmet. Leather helmet. Um, what else did I... What did I need to spawn? Wow, I really have the attention span of goldfish sometimes. Okay, so let's do... Let's just set these up and then I can see what I'm missing. So, four, five. Get some rag going. Two, three. Get some leather going. Get the full troll outfit going. Okay, nice, nice. And so this is leather, and this and the deer cape is really for leather, I would think. So it's kind of just like rag. It's just rag. Yule hat. <laughs> My armory has the armor stands in chronological order, but the rag one I gave the dunce hat. That is hilarious. The Yule hat, yeah, that is hilarious. All right, I've got to try to make this armory, this armor side, as good as the weapon rack side so um yeah i'm gonna have to add some infrastructure around this possibly just copying the same infrastructure i could use the same kind of point on each side which would look really nice but we'll see i think a lot of people skip it yeah i guess so like i didn't even i mean i guess i had i guess i, I maybe i just knew about it from scrolling by it like that's so funny it's literally just some pants and a shirt does look good just to have those three next to each other i actually really like that yeah okay so then this is kind of the basic wall so i would say um iron and bronze should be here too kind of a shame they're off on the side but whatever it's okay so we'll get bronze going okay And I went right past iron. Okay. Some iron going. Put those in the right place. Let's get to the helmets. And the capes are always what you really have to decide here. So, I mean, I guess I could put wolf on them. Because I feel like locks you don't really have until you have padded, right? Linen is the best, right? So I could put deer on armor and I could put wolf on bronze. Yeah, I always do I always do locks with padded too. It feels weird putting deer with I guess I could just do wolf with both of them. Wolf like kinda makes sense around that time in the progression, so Two, three, four, five. Oh, I need helmets too. So bronze helmet and 
iron helmet. Okay. Those in the right place and get these in the right place. I could also just not give them a cape. Um, this is the iron one, right? Yeah, so three and two. I don't technically need a cape, but yeah, see, iron goes so well with the wolf cape, but this guy kind of doesn't make sense. But locks just doesn't make sense yet. I think linen would look the best, but wouldn't make sense with progression. That's what I'm saying. I'm I want it to make sense with progression, but it's tricky. Like, what really is the stage for bronze? I think it's still wolf. Maybe wolf is so is Fenris. So maybe I could put the Fenris cloak on him. Maybe deer for bronze. I, that's what I was thinking. But bronze is after iron, isn't it? Right? Or am I just delusional? Iron scale, durability 1000, durability 1000, armor 8, armor 14. No, iron is better. So I could put, yeah, 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 iron is better. I am delusional. So deer cape, deer cape would go, could go with bronze. And it would look, it's actually brown. Dang, I feel like I should have these in the opposite order now, but whatever. Four. And don't need that cape anymore. And two, three, four. Yeah, that makes way more sense. Okay. Um, so that's five of the sets of armor out of the nine. <laughs> so there's one spot, two, three, four. So I guess I just put one on each of the rest now. That's probably what I'm going to do. Bronze is copper and tin. Oh, all black forests. I see, I see, I see. Iron is swamp. Gotcha. My bad, my bad, my bad. You're, you're right. Iron is swamp, isn't it? Poison resistant stuff. That's when you gotta start making mead, in my opinion. Gonna have some duplicates or empties. Yeah, I might have to duplicate some. But that's okay. So, next... Bronze is in, iron is in, leather. So there's still padded, root. They'll have padded, fenris, root. Uh, what's the other one? And wolf. Yeah. So, okay, so help me out, guys. Help me out. Guys or gals, what is after iron? out of that because honestly i couldn't tell you with root and with fenris you said fenris is maybe wolf is the mountain and so is fenris fenris so i could do i could do those together but then i would have an open spot and then i could do root gets its own thing and padded gets its own thing Iron on one side and bronze on the other, then higher tier stuff on the other wall. Oh, that's good. Is root higher tier though? I didn't think root was that good. Oh wow, it has eight armor. It's actually not bad at all. Root is greater than wolf and fenris, which is greater than padded. Wait, what? I thought padded was yo hold up <laughs> yo hold up padded is armor is 26 with padded what do you mean and then root armor is eight and then wolf is 20. and then fenris it's only 10, but I think this is more really for like speed and stuff. Root and Fenris are both specialized. Fenris gives fire resistant and Roof gives archery bonus or something. Okay, so maybe Root and Fenris should go together since those are specialized. And then you might be right, I could split iron and bronze. And then this side would be like the original skins, like when you're first progressing through the game. So that actually could be pretty cool. So let me do that, and then the other four will go over here. Uh, Fenris and Root might go together, and and then Padded and Wolf will get their own. 
yeah that's what i'm gonna do that's what i'm gonna do appreciate the help appreciate the help okay so definitely need to center an armor stand here or an item stand here and let's take all of the bronze stuff and throw this onto here okay and then all of the iron stuff over here get rid of this junk okay sounds good to you okay sweet because i think that was a good idea to, to split up iron and bronze i think that was you that said that dean and then um over here i could do the other four which seem to be a little bit separated from like the beginning of the game type of armor sets you can put weapons and shields in the i know i was thinking i was about to say that a second ago like also technically speaking we should be thinking about what armor and shields pair with each of these stages but let's come back and do that in a minute it's already complicated enough right now okay so i think here on the sides or in the middle i think it'd be cool to have since the pair over here is going to be root and fenris that's what i'm going to do here root and fenris and where is root there we go and there we go i haven't i haven't messed with the root stuff at all except for the root mask so i'm thinking fenris on the left and right okay this is gonna be so sweet when it's done oh there's the flesh rippers i was trying to find those the other day i'm gonna make that now before i lose them um root mask and fenris hood nice so i'll go ahead and give him a i can't put two you can't put the rippers on the that's weird. Four and five. Wait a second. I did these backwards. No. You can pull up. Oh, okay, I already did that. Did these backwards. Do that again. Okay. the root setup looking nice and generous as well yeah they are backwards yeah i didn't notice until the, the hood was backwards uh that's weird you can't put the claws on here i guess they would have stuck out like too far or something but i could easily put them like behind on an item stand so i'll figure that out in a little bit uh, so I guess they don't really have capes, do they? Is there a Fenris cape? Um, in all caps. Spawn. Cape. No. I really don't know. I guess, they, I guess honestly, for like, progression-wise, I would just leave these as their unique skin. And whatever you're at when you get them, you use. I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea what it would be to be. Pretty close. Oh, that's to the left. That's slightly outside. That's slightly inside. So this didn't match anyway. Slightly outside. That's slightly inside. Let's move them all to slightly inside. Okay. Uh, what's the Odin cape? Hey, we do the item stance. <laughs> no way to stow them and keep them visible they need to be on hands that's the stance okay w quickly stopping by for some support thank you mitchell thank you mitchell i appreciate it man much appreciated what's the odin cape spawn cape please don't crash my game it is the odin cape oh it's this thing yeah i've seen i don't know what this thing is but Oh yeah, it says DLC required. I don't even know. I don't even know. It didn't even unequip the lockscape. 
It just said it couldn't do it. <laughs> Weird. Oh man. Check it out, Mitchell. Got a whole item stand or a whole uh item stand, what am I saying? Uh weapons rack going on over here. First part of the armory is done. How's the bank doing? The bank is doing great. <laughs> the treasury. Treasury's done. Uh, warehouse is done. Kitchen's done now. Um, forge room and crafting room is done. Bedroom is done. And now on to the armory. Here, I'll get. I'll show. I'll give you a quick, quick little walk around. I need to take a break from all those item stands anyway. Treasury. I think you saw most of the treasury. It is now finished. Got the whole thing going here, the bank vault, a little desk. Also, we have the warehouse over here now. Warehouse came together really, really nice. A bunch of shields on the walls. You can still put Odin capes on the stands. Okay. Might put it on Fenris then because it's black and Fenris' stuff is black. Warehouse came out real nice. Got the access right there to the little deck. Um, there is also a crafting and forging room, which came out really nice. Uh, crafting and forging room, cute little room. We've got a bunch of storage, and we've got crafting on one side and forging on the other. Uh, also did the kitchen, which is straight across the way. Kitchen came out real nice. Two stone ovens, storage up top for food fireplace We're super cramped in here but got everything in here that i was hoping to get in here and also the bedroom bedroom came out pretty cool got the big uh stone hearth at the middle got big beds on the sides bunk beds in the back eight little bunk beds looking cozy look at that looking all cozy in there um yeah and then some tables some shelves and yeah did some decorations up top which i copied all these over to the other room over here where the armory is going in here's our nice touch thank you thank you i did the same it looks okay yeah i think i'll do that then let's see spawn cape odin or yeah i'm gonna do that it looks nice and the curtains love it now nice. I wonder if I could just put a deer, if I'm going to do that, then I might as well put a deer cape on the root mask since it's brown and it would match too. Nice, yeah, yeah, yeah. Adds a little bit to it, I guess. Uh, and then what else? There was so much detail with the wood, so impressed. Nice, appreciate it, dude. And this whole, this whole project has been so much fun. It's coming together real nice. It's coming together real nice. I think this is it. This will be the last stream for it. I'll be a couple days off streaming for doing the video and then probably back to streaming next week if I start another build but I might do a build tutorial next week so we're gonna have to see um, if I'm gonna because I can't really stream that I'm just gonna have to do a lot of a lot of filming for that so we'll see uh, wolf armor wolf armor chest okay and I need some helmets also need the wolf for a cape and the ox cape nice break helmet and added helmet it'll be nice to have a nice editing on it will soon be worth it agreed absolutely agreed i think this one's going to come together really nicely there's a lot to talk about i think it'll just be a fun tour Is that right did i put all the right stuff on there i did put all the right stuff on there Okay, and two, three, four, five. Nice. We got the other four over here. This lighting looks absolutely terrible right here. Back that up a little bit. 30 hour build of Valheim. Yeah, it's turned out to, it's going to be about a 30 hour build. Normally I only spit about 
you know, 10, 15 hours. So that's kind of what I was trying to do for the build tour videos. So I could crank one out every like three days, uh, just get a nice new theme each time. So I could have a lot of different techniques presented in each video. But uh, this one, I just ended up just, I don't know. I started streaming and just kept going. Just been having a lot of fun building. I'd like to see your version of a five times five multiple stories if you want with all amenities and upgraded benches. Five by five, like five meters by five meters. This is pretty much five meters by five meters, except this is like eight by eight. What a good challenge. Now I want to try that. Multiple stories if you want. It would definitely be multiple stories. All amenities and upgraded benches. Yeah, I'd be down to do something like that. I mean, honestly, this, the island starter base I did is pretty much that, but it's just not restricted to a 5x5. Five five. But it's got all the amenities and upgraded benches in the game. Um, it's just restricted to an island instead of a 5x5. Five five. <laughs> nice. The wood design, yeah, it's pretty sweet. I usually just put bedroom upstairs with the benches downstairs. Yeah, same. I love to do that. That's what I did actually in that island video. I'm gonna screenshot it. Oh, here you go. <laughs> go for it. It did come together really nice. The first design I had on it was terrible. I'm so glad I kept messing with it. That was not good. I liked it too. I'm so glad I didn't keep it. So now I have to decide how to make the armor walls look as good as the weapons rack walls. I have a feeling, I have a suspicion that I might be able to just simply do exactly the same thing. But I don't want to cover up the armor too much. Actually, it's, I don't think that's too much. Is that too much? Might be too much. Oh, come on. Thank you. That roofing from the inside? Yeah. This frame turned out really nice. I had a really ugly iron frame here to BRB food time already. Um, I had a really ugly roof, uh, frame here with iron beams because this is such a tall build that at your event. And uh, so I just made this like kind of thing here to go with the roof. And the roof already looked really nice because uh, it's got like this point going up because I used the I corner, O corner, I corner, or the opposite. Uh, so it made a really pretty roof, but yeah. Thanks. What about the shields? It looks like you don't have any more space for them. True, actually, but I do want to include possibly some shields and some weapons on the armor. I think that would be really sweet to actually include those uh, with the suits of armor. So, oh, I need to eat some food. Okay, and then I think this goes up just one more. Nope, two more. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna try to copy over the design from the weapons rack thing, but I really don't know if that's gonna look good. Oh my gosh, what just happened there? It's angled wrong and it kind of flipped around on me. Okay, four, oh, that's one, two, three. Did a screenshot, not gonna lie. We'll use it if you don't mind, dude. I You can use anything you ever see me building, you can use. Don't worry about that at all. Does not bother me at all. So that is that, and then I used 45s. And then 26s. That is completely off. What did I do wrong? <laughs> Something's very wrong. Oh, the shelf here is just sticking out really far. I have the same problem over here. I did on just one of them over here, too. How strange. Okay. So, time to do some fixing. Apparently, there is another snapping point. That's like all the way in though. That can't be right. Huh, oh, okay. 
Okay, I'll just carry it over from the other ones, but I don't know where that snapping point was supposed to come from. That's strange. Problem solved, though. Problem solved. I'll have to rewatch to catch more of the build. Yeah, there's a few streams up of it. This is going to be stream five. So there's definitely some stuff you could check out. It's not quite all of it. There are a few things I did off camera, especially at the beginning, before stream one. And then also, all of stream one is completely broken. It was the first stream I've ever done. And I did some, tr I tried to trim a little bit on it. And it like, I guess I just didn't know what I was doing. And I, it just broke the whole thing. And I tried to contact YouTube and they're trying to fix it. But I think it's permanently, uh, they said they just, to just archive it. So, you know, you'll be able to find most of it though. Most of the build is, is there. Um, I think this is right now. I hope this is right now. It is sweet. Okay, and we're gonna add some more of these. Oh, come from this way, it'd probably be easier. Best builder for sure. You're too kind, you're too kind. Do you plan on doing a showcase video? Yes, that's uh, tomorrow and the next day is gonna be recording and editing uh, the tour showcase type of video. Um, so you can definitely check it out there too and save yourself some time. But if you're just sitting around and you wanna play the streams, you can do that too. Up to you. The tour video will obviously be much shorter though. So there is that. Spawn, I wonder if I should change the trophies though. But just do like all boss trophies. Spawn trophy Ekthir. Let's see what Ekthir actually looks like in this spot though. That's the problem. You plan on doing stream one, two, three, four, and four. <laughs> um Yeah, so this is this is five, but I forgot to change the title when I started today. So it says that it's four, but <laughs> It is actually five. I'm just an idiot. I was actually excited to stream today, though. I got some good sleep last night for the first time in a couple days, and I was just feeling it. I was like, let's go. I just started it up without changing anything from yesterday's stream. I didn't even change the thumbnail. I completely forgot. I almost, like, canceled it really quick to change it, but then I was like, is it going to show up on my channel that I streamed for, like, 0.38 seconds? Huge fan of your tours, and I like catching these live if I can. Nice. I, um, I'm happy to hear that because I was really wondering if I should uh, start streaming this stuff. And it seems like um, it's definitely the way to go because otherwise I'm just going to listen to a podcast or listen to some music. So I'm glad that uh, streaming it has been working out, honestly. Uh, and yeah, the tours, I love making the tours. I really do. Like, I'm going to keep making those. I'm going to have some tips video, build tips videos coming out soon and some other stuff. But I'm going to always be doing the tour videos. They're just a lot of fun to make. And I can just practice with the building. I, and that's the main thing with Valheim that I love. I love, love, love the building system in this game. Oh, yeah. I've got to add some... got to add some chests. That is in that guy's head. So we're going to raise the chest to here i guess is the first chest yeah that's kind of unfortunate but that's all right that is all right some of these chests here on the shelves let's add a little quick extra chest i may have missed the placement on that nope i got it nice we're gonna do the same thing on the other side try to put it in the same place but i think that's around the same yeah that's nice oh i might sneeze nope i'm good all right it passed place that right there and with a quote in it oh <laughs> yeah i watched the tour also nice appreciate it yeah the tour that's that's where like I put in all the editing fun and the, you know and all that type of stuff so i hope everybody can see that too but i still want to I, I do want live streaming to be a big part of the channel uh now that i have internet that is actually capable of live streaming <laughs> um okay so this is looking pretty sweet i'm gonna add more details but this is 
so far what the first armor wall looks like this is the five sets of the starter armor i absolutely love this this is really cool the window cells are or the window sills are a little bit like inset into the wall and i think that adds a really nice like kind of staggered look to it unfortunately we've got the smoke here at the floor because the kitchen is below so nothing we can do about that best tours nice Having no internet problems, watching your stream to finally chill. Pixels and a pause. Yeah, it do be like that sometimes. It really do. Let's see. It do be like that. And I really, I strongly relate to that. I mean, up until the last two months, I've been dealing with some internet issues myself for quite some time. I feel you, my friend. I feel you. I'm gonna just bring this over. This is the incorrect piece of the thing, which is so weird that like I had one incorrect on the left corner over there, and then over here, the left corner was also incorrect. I don't know what happened with that, but hey, quick fix, so all good, moving on. One, two, three, four, best tours. I don't know about that, but I appreciate that. That's very nice of you. Um, let's see, I just like, I like doing the tours and I can do some fun editing too. And the tour is like, if I do tours instead of tutorials, let me tell you those tutorials, I don't mind doing them. I love having tutorials on the channel too, for people to, to reference, but I can put out so much more content if I do tours and I just build off camera or build now in live streams. Like it's just so much faster. Otherwise I have to film the whole process and then I have to cut up the whole process and then voice overlay every placement and it just takes so long. So max I can put out a video a week with that. Um, like max. So I think this is right. So yeah, that's why I, that was that's the main appeal for me with the build tours. Editing and more content. Fun editing, I guess I should say. So now I have to do a different trophy. I don't really like... I could do the Elder Trophy, but I, I feel like it should be more. Like, there should be, like, branches sticking out of it and stuff. It's so simple. So I guess, honestly, I'm going to do Bone Mass. But Bone Mass might be too much, actually. That might be the opposite end of the spectrum. Jeez. Yeah, Bone Mass really fills that spot out. That's, that's a no-go. So, spawn trophy. Now, the Elder Trophy is not the name the Elder. I don't remember what it is, but it's something weird. Draugr, Draugr, Lee, Draugr, Finn, Ekdir. Oh, what was that? Dang it. Henry. Okay, Forest Troll, Forest Troll, Goblin, Goblin Brute, Goblin King, Goblin Shaman, Great Orf. Growth, Hatchling, Leech, Ox, Neck. Does anybody know the code for the Elder? Oh, it's the Elder instead of Elder. I'm an idiot. Okay. Five. There we go. That is, that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. We are making my day with the stream, man. Today was so stressful. The vibes in here are the best. Well, I, I am glad I can do that for you, dude. I know you say you're in school right now and everything, right? So... Yeah, just chill out, watch the stream, hang out. I try to get some chill music going in the background. I just got a couple more playlists today to add to it, actually. So I'm pretty excited about that. Got some more music going. Try to keep the chill vibes flowing. That banner is completely stuck in the wall. Like, look at that. Can't see, like, any of that. Hey, what is different about this? There is totally something different about this. Do incredible tours with the overlays and rotations and top-down perspective. Nice. Yeah, I've, just, I've been trying to put together a lot of different techniques since the first uh, tour. And then in the last video with the Island Starter Base, they finally all kind of came together with all the overlays and stuff. So I'm hoping now it's going to be a really nice format from, from here on out. Good overlays, 
sorry for the fan, but I really enjoy it. The street, though. <laughs> so, what is different about this side and this side? It seems to me like there's something that's different. Maybe it's just that the banner... Oh, the X is lower. Right? Yeah. Yeah, this X is at the top of those. I figured it out. Oh, which is better? I could actually see which is better now that I know. Use it on what? Use it on this? What do you mean use it on what? Don't give me that, Valheim. So I could do it lower or taller. Ooh, I actually like it lower. I like it lower for the trophy, but I like it taller for the design on the That's a hard decision. Let's see what it looks like when I raise it up. Ecthier is going to look probably ridiculous when I raise it up and all the horns are like hidden in the wall. Only one way to find out. Come here, Ecthier. Yeah. Honestly, though, that actually looks pretty cool with the horns, like, perfectly sticking around the X. Yeah, well, not perfectly. It's, like, in the wood, but I like that. Bed in the building? Yeah, for sure, dude. You can. You guys can just move on in. Look, there's already beds here. You don't even have to bring one. You guys can move on in. The whole TFG community is staying here in the port. I mean, we've all we would have plenty of work to do. Look, somebody's got to run the crane. We have boats coming in all the time. There's, this is the spa side. You can hang out on the spa side if you're really not feeling like working. I mean, it'd be a dream, it'd be an absolute dream. Let's see what else. What else? Okay, so that's there. Oh, so that. Dang it, if I stick my hammer to one more ah, item sand. Okay, two, three, four, five. Need to raise this banner to this height. Oh, there we go. Now it's all symmetrical. This is fixed over here, so I can place the final armor in. Okay, which is the Drake armor. Oh, all right, looking good. Dibs on top bunk. <laughs> top bunk is, is just more fun. It's just more fun that way. It really is. I don't know what it is. Also, you can see I took the uh, the name the name things and I put little rails here and rails on the back with them. I kind of free place the little name, the signs, and uh, so you won't fall out. So top bunk is all safe and secure. Right, so what else needs to go in here? Honestly, I could leave just this like it is, but I definitely want to add some stuff. I'm thinking some stools occasionally. I don't want to go all out with the stools. I don't want to go all out with the stools. Um... I also have to decide what goes in the middle because that kind of decides a little bit about what goes on the sides. Definitely the easiest thing would be the stone hearth and that would make the floor, it would leave the floor plan really open in here and just have the hearth. There'd be really big hallways and it'd be nice and like not claustrophobic. So that's tempting. I'm honestly probably going to do that. In that case, some storage here on the sides maybe up right here that actually looks pretty cool um stool stool definitely want to do one of these like that stool but then also maybe some storage on the window parts tuck them back in underneath a little bit of a shadow in front of, in front of them. It, keep that depth too. Keep that like range going where it kind of looks like it's 
need to go back even further. Right, something like that. Yeah. Got an idea for the future, an old school box bed. Okay. I actually tried one of those ones. It didn't, it's okay. It's in the uh, the mega the mega build castle series with the large doors or the curtains on it. Okay, not a bad idea. It didn't come out very good and I was really limited on my instances then since I was already at like 20,000 instances. So I kind of had to move on. Liking all the alcoves. Alcoves. Is that, have I been saying that wrong my entire life? You'll, you'll notice one thing about me with live streams. I don't care to admit when I do something wrong. And I'll tell you, I have been saying out coves for literally like, what, 50 Valheim videos? Alcove, is that right? I think that's, wow, I'm an idiot. I'm an absolute idiot. BLT with egg and replace the tomato with salsa. Ooh, that sounds absolutely delicious. I can't eat any of that right now. I'm so jealous. <laughs> that sounds amazing. You got to get some good bread too. You put that on some sourdough. Oh man. All right. Definitely need to add a few like little details here and there. Maybe like, you know, you can never go wrong with a tankard. You really can't. You really can't. I right, check that. Is that right? I can't believe I didn't know that. I'm gonna have to like look up the word alcove after this. Alcoves, alcove, whatever works. Okay. Okay. Oh, I didn't even notice that was Chris. What up, Chris? Shoot. ELT without the B. The I and the T. That kind of rhymed a little bit. That's Casey's job. What are you doing? Casey's the rhymer. <laughs> this is really coming together. Uh, is there anything else I could tell? I mean, I did once where I like tucked a couple presents under. And I think you can do some really cool stuff with the presents. Especially because they're like increasing in size. But I try not to use them just because it's a debug mode thing. You know, and they're only going to be usable at Christmas like for the seasonal stuff. Same thing with like the turnip lanterns. I try not to use them. Um, maples, yule trees, you know, but I don't know. Sometimes they are kind of a nice filler for a spot. What up, what up, Chris? What's your name, Friendly Gamer? My name is the Friendly Gamer. <laughs> it's a mystery, isn't it? Hey Chris, what up Chris? Alright, this is looking really nice. We need something in the center of this room. Uh, let's see. So, I want to get some more of these little like... Um, what did he call them yesterday? I think studs would work. You could say, you could say that, but there was a better word for it that somebody said yesterday. So not only is this going to give me a place to place the fire because I'm connecting it up to the iron poles, which I learned yesterday because somebody pointed out to me that I need to connect them up to the iron poles um, or the stone hearth. But also, it looks pretty cool. All right, cool. Studded floor. Nice. And I didn't quite get everywhere. Oh, nailed it. Absolutely nailed that. Yeah, I can't do it over there. Def a Tim for sure. <laughs> Imagine you actually guessed my name. Like, first try. Rivets. Yes. Thank you. Award goes to you. A free high five. That is exactly what it is. Okay, so where is the center of this room? I remember this also being a slight problem. So that actually is the center. Wow, that was nice figuring that out. Okay. And 
then this is the center also. Okay. So the problem is, is that the hearth is right. And then but the problem is, is that it's three wide or it's, um, yeah, three meters wide. But here, lads, same here. I think it's a Thomas. <laughs> um, let's see. If I just like accidentally doxed myself right now and just said like, no, it's. <laughs> Uh, okay, one, two, three, four, one, two. Okay, so the problem is the three, but that's okay. I can deal with that. Those, yep, those are aligned exactly. Okay, so now I can actually just place the hearth, kind of free place it. Right, like there, question mark. Actually, yeah, I'm cool with that. Imagine you could turn that fire pit, it will look like a portal out of Minecraft. Right, this is sweet. This space is going to be so nice. And maybe now, I think over here I did like, yeah, 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 yeah. So I free, yeah, free placed one. And the, oh, come on, Valheim. There we go. There we go. We're chilling, we're chilling. Boom. Boom. Your stencil work with the greats did wonders? Yeah. I think so, too. That was pretty sweet. Like, they're a little overlapped on this side, like a tiny bit, but hey, you know? Also, I've been thinking on it while eating my sandwich. He's either a Brian or a Jason. <laughs> Just getting vibes. Imagine like a psychic comes in here and they're like, no, 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 no. His name is Steve, guys. His name is Steve. I can feel the energy. <laughs> oh, yeah, I haven't done the weapons yet. Oh, no, I completely forgot about that. So should I go back through and add all of the weapons that make sense to the armor types or or should i move on to the last wall and then i can move on to the final thing in the whole build which is the dining room i'm really excited to get to the dining room this is a really interesting space to do a dining room too Glenn. <laughs> it is steve it is steve he told us. Imagine I actually told you my name and that was like the biggest like twist ever. Stacy? Could be Stacy. What was the guy's name in Holes? Anybody seen Holes? Man, I used to love that movie. What was his name? He was like all self-conscious about it. The camp counselor. It was something like that. It was like Stacy or something. can't remember what his dang name was oh well yeah yeah stanley yelling at us. but i mean the guy that was always yelling at him at the at the camp holes yeah it's it's a movie if you haven't seen it stanley yelling at us. oh my god stanley yelling at us was played by shia labeouf that was that movie is so good i rewatched it like a year or two ago the plot to that movie, like the fact that that was made for a kid's movie is just incredible to me because the plot is so good. Like it's a fully, 
It's a long movie too for a kid. Oh yeah, it takes two. Ever played that game? It takes two. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I have an It Takes Two playthrough on my channel, but I was definitely still learning. I had a lot to learn about editing still then, so I don't know if I recommend going back and watching that through. Leslie, was it Leslie? I think that's what it was actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's what it was. Yeah, I think that's what it was. That's funny. I couldn't remember it. Let's do some of these and some of these. Oh, I just took a screenshot for no reason. Some mead horns and a regular tankard. Bulls is on Disney Plus. Yeah, I think that's where I watched it like a year ago. More of the, the meatballs generation. What is that from? Gonna replay that tomorrow with my girl. Love that game. Yeah, man. It Takes Two is one of the most beautiful games. I've recommended that game to so many people since I played it. Like any, basically any couple or anything like any, I played it with a bro though. I mean, I, even with a bro, the game was really cool, but there is like some couple vibes too, because you know, they're dealing with all this stuff. I don't want to spoil anything, but what a beautiful game though. Like the, it's all like the family and like, there's so many meanings in it too. Like, oh man, such a great game. Bill, oh, Bill Murray movie, Meatballs Generation. Dang, I don't know that. I don't know that inside joke that I definitely don't know it. Let's see, what else? What else do I need to add? Definitely a little rug under each of these little spots for sure. Get this looking nice and cozy. Um, yeah, this room is looking really nice now. Uh, what else? I know I want to do the outfits to go here. Gotta go. Uh, people I was waiting on are ready. Enjoy the stream. Appreciate you stopping by, Dean. Thank you very much. Have a good one. Have fun with your friends and everything. The queen doll that you need to kill. My girl was in tears. <laughs> Dude, I don't even want to like, I don't want to spoil anything, but like, that was the most like brutal thing I have at, like the way that they made that like you're it's just like a stuffed animal but it's like actually brutal it was like oh my gosh yeah the leg and stuff that's what I'm saying no more spoilers no more spoilers but man that that actually was raw that scene was raw like me and the guy I was playing with were both like holy crap what are we watching right now it got dark fast real horror yeah so uh it's such a beautiful game though and all the mini games like i'm tempted to play it through again and uh try to find all the mini games because we looked so hard but we actually did miss some i was really surprised at the end to realize that so i want to do like some armors like the quick armors to go here but i also don't want to block the view of this wall because i like this wall so we're gonna see what I can actually get away with. Oh wow, there's a, actually conveniently a snapping point there, which is really what you want for the, that post. Huh, that's cool. It's because there's two floors here. There's a floor underneath, uh, and then a floor up top. See, uh, yeah. Same for me, yeah such a good game so i do need some extra lighting in here probably i wonder if i should put some of those um those swamp keys also in the armor's sides so i could put i could put them down low there's not really a place to hide it in the middle one though It'd be pretty obvious Unless, oh, you know what? Unless I seal off the middle one. Yo. Okay. And I put key here. I think I'm going to need six of them. I don't know. I don't know. 
We will see. If I put it on the back wall, that might also be too far back. A little bit of blue lighting, nice. Just a little bit of blue lighting. You don't want too much, but then sometimes you do. I don't know, there's a lot over here, but I like it. I think it looks pretty cool with the weapons rack. One more thing, I'm gonna stop talking about it. The Mortal Kombat fight on the plane. Yeah, dude, some of those boss fights and everything, like, and like, like, dude, they just, like, the whole game was incredible. I remember freaking out about the, uh, the vacuum, which I think ends up being, like, the first boss. Um, like, just, like, the mechanics are so cool. And then the toolbox and stuff. Yeah, man, that, like, they did such a great job with that game. Oh, oh. There we go. I think I put it around the same spot. I hope I did. I don't know. Yeah, that's nice. That's nice. That was so funny. Definitely gonna add something over here on this side. Just kind of make a wall with it, basically. Five. And then, really... I'll just have to do this trick with the stool and try to kind of cover up the fact that the key is there with the stool a little bit. Yeah, I like that. Actually, would it be cooler if the, if the key was centered directly below the armor stand? Uh, we were talking about the game called It Takes Two. Yeah, sucking and stuff, the vacuum, yeah. I don't know if I should put this light centered and then cover it up like the other sides. Dang it, I lost my hammer to an item stand again. Can I like lock these item stands? Is that a thing? That'd be super sweet if it was. I wouldn't mind not knowing that until now. Really nice game, yeah. Let's see what happens if I do... Well, first of all... I want to see what it looks like if I did the covered up thing on all three sets of armor. Yeah, that looks great. That looks fine. So, I am going to do this. So... This way, the item stands can be in the center to get the, the best lighting right under the armor. I think that's a better idea. I think with the lighting on the side, it's a little bit weird. Our OFL. Rolling on the floor laughing. <laughs> Okay, and place some of these. Nice, nice, nice. Looking sweet. Looking absolutely gorgeous. All right, let's get over here. Place more of these. And gotta get those walls in. Whoa, 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 walls, whoa, walls. Is that right? I guess that's right. Alright, last key, last key. And boom. I gotta move on from the armory, but I keep, I'm keep. i gonna do what I did yesterday with the bedroom and just keep adding things for like another 30 minutes. Alright, I'm liking this a lot. I'm tempted to actually light the fire, but I don't know. I don't think... I don't want to get that much smoke in here. Loading? Is the stream loading? Is the stream alright? Is the stream alright? Oh no, no. Can you build an Assassin's Creed build sooner or later? Like the Borgia Towers and stuff? Borgia Towers? Dude, that's not a bad idea, man. If I was going to do an Assassin's Creed build, though... I'd go back to Assassin's Creed 2 because that was the OG Assassin's Creed days. That was the best Assassin's Creed game there was, game there was by far. It was so good. It was so much fun. I went back and replayed that like 
a couple years after it came out. I had so much fun. Dreams good? Okay. Yeah, I wouldn't mind doing Assassin's Creed build. That'd be kind of cool. I wonder how um, those builds, those buildings would kind of look in Valheim. You can do like old style churches. Um, you know, you can do like like stone buildings. So I bet you like I could do that. So a lot of those buildings are real buildings too. Like that, I don't know if you're talking about like the city, but that some of that is actually like historically accurate. So. Ezio, yeah, the Ezio days were, were the days. So here I want to have just some armor stands on the go. It's like a quick suit of armor if you need one. So really just like two on each side would be kind of cool. Maybe just kind of angle them a little bit. Like something like that, something like that. That could be pretty sweet and those will be the only like angled ar armor stands and uh weapon stands in the room man i love how this room came together actually this is really nice the tops of the towers i was a little worried because i knew it was a lot of space but uh this and the bedroom across the way i think both were nice uses of the space really nice uses of the space Look at that. Alright. Uh, what sets of armor should I have here for quick armor on the go? Thank you, Ixie. I think so too. I wonder what I should do for quick armors on the go. Do something fun with this shelf and actually bring it out a little bit. Let's see. How many snapping points do I have here? Probably about a thousand. The only problem with that is... I probably need to match it then if I'm going to do that. Actually do the regular snapping point. Okay. And then add one here. And on this side, honestly, I'll probably just add a nice little chest. Maybe a little seat. Chest tucked into the back. Get rid of that for a second. Chest tucked into the back. Two seats. And then one seat on one side. Get a little bit of asymmetry going. Can you, by the way, put shields on the longbow? I thought I heard somebody say you could do that at one point, but I've never tried it. I do think I've heard somebody say that, though. Here, I'll go check. I'll go check. I'll go check. I'm stuck. Is that a thing? Today we find out. Hello? I don't have I have a weird shield though. I have the serpent shield, so I don't know if that would really work. I don't know. Oh my gosh, I love how this build came together. Um Let me try the wood shields, because that would be what it would be, right? No, it doesn't seem like you can interact with it or anything. I could be wrong for sure, but... I thought you could, like... I don't know. I thought I heard somebody say that at one point, but... There are holes, though. I know. That's what I'm looking at, too, but... I don't know. I gotta get back to work. Man, I love how this build is coming together, though. Just some interior work left. It's a little bittersweet. I've had a lot of fun doing this and doing the first streams for the channel and everything, but at some point it has to be finished. All right, back to work. Yeah, definitely unfortunate. I agree. That that shouldn't be too hard to add, right? Like just modify the vote kind of a little bit. Nah, I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't know anything about like game coding and stuff. Um, actually, before I spawn that, it'd probably be quicker to spawn it through here. What armor should I have quickly ready to go? And should it be four sets of the same armor? Like, maybe these are like the work outfits for the, the people working in the harbor. I'm working on the crane and offloading the ships. 
the stream must go on yeah i'll be doing another build soon so it's okay possibly not next week though like i said i might do build tutorial videos next week i really need to get started with those and in that case uh the next time i stream would be a couple of streams the week after next we have the tour to look forward to exactly the tour and I, I love making those videos so the next few days i'll be making that make the wall longer the wall this wall you mean like the, sh the shelf here or the wall out here i could I could actually just keep expanding this thing. But the problem is, is I'm already at uh, 14,000 instances, instances. So I'm assuming when I'm when all is said and done, it'll be probably around 16, 17,000. Tour video coming soon. Hopefully out Saturday morning. Hopefully, hopefully. On the stone parts? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um... I definitely could. I definitely could. Stand, armor stands. These armor stands have nothing on them because I don't know what to put here. Dang it. If it if it's for the the dock workers, leather armor would make sense, right? Just like do some simple armor. Like just some leather armor or something. But I could also do like different sets of armor. What if I did like leather on one side and then like armor armor on the other side yeah i'm gonna do that so leather armor for the workers and um and then probably on the other side like padded armor would be cool for like an invasion or something like that i don't know <laughs> get rid of that stuff grab all this whoops Okay, get to, there we go, I clicked every cape before I got to that one. It do exist in real life, true, true. Um, two, four, four, five, three, Leather helmet, snag another one. Back in the days for primitive living. Three, four, just some nice quick leather armor that you can grab on the go. Oh, I don't want to pick that up. Get rid of that. On the Do they really still? The living. Wait, what are you guys talking about? I don't know what you guys are talking about, actually. Uh, and then I think I'm gonna do Drake armor would be really cool here. I love Drake armor. So I'm actually gonna put that here just for fun do The wolf cape And some Big arm where, where is the Drake armor? Am I blind? Oh, it's the wolf armor. My bad Bridge houses. Oh in Amsterdam? Really? I didn't know that. Yeah, this is basically a bridge house. I've been wondering, hey, if you guys want to help me come up with the title for the video, I I have been wondering what to title the uh, tour video. I don't really know what to call this place. Um, it is a bridge house, but I don't know if I just want to call it a bridge house or if I want to call it, um, you know, the harbor because there's a whole harbor with you know a freaking crane you know so i could easily call it like the harbor or the bay or whatever um you know with like the chains and everything but i mean i don't know you know it's definitely the tower bridge house kind of thing i don't know Lots of options, but uh, I live in the Netherlands, but never heard about this kind of build. I knew that there was like tower, like tower bridges in like medieval times. 
Sorry, we don't have rivers in Saudi Arabia. I didn't understand. Oh, that's funny. Oh, that's funny. We live in Saudi Arabia? That's so cool. Huh. That is awesome. I'm going to place a trophy here to cover up those gross um, connections there between those pieces. Did I? I spelled something wrong. There we go. Figured it out. Took me a second, but I figured it out. Got there in the end. Yeah, mostly it is a bridge house, so I feel like that is what I'm going to end up calling it. Um, should I put lighting at the top of these? Yeah, all my stuff is in this chest. I need to grab that. All my tools, my arrows, stamina food. I'm probably going to put some lighting here, like, tucked into here. And another one over here, because there definitely needs to be a little more lighting up here. I'll try to use, like, as little as possible, but, um, you know, got to do some kind of lighting. All right. So, I think the room came together really, really nice. Trestle Lodge? It's not one... No, it's technically two... To like, two towers connected by, like, a bridge tower. Like, a bridge... I don't know. Two towers with a bridge house in the middle or something? What's a Trestle Lodge? I've never even heard of that. I have no idea what that is. I go over here and add the same lighting over in the bedroom for anybody that hasn't seen the bedroom got the big beds on the sides got the drapes here for a little bit of privacy back by the door you got some seating and some shelves with different decorations uh, back here in the back we got four different bunk beds with some storage tucked up top and yeah, nice little place to chill in the center, just like over here. Good designs, amazing room. Thank you, thank you. Trestle means bridge. Okay, I'm done. My bad. I think we've already established this, though. I have a simple mind sometimes. It is what it is. Um, got the lighting here, the lighting up above. I honestly think that's going to be all right. Now, what I do want to do is I want to add a few rugs in here, I think. I think there might be some nice spots for rugs. I'm just not sure. I wonder if I could... Basically, just do, like... In front of each of the displays. Mostly to the chest. Oh gosh, I'm gonna have to remove this for a second. Hopefully these rugs will add a little bit to it, but they might not. And if that's the case, then I'll just take them out. But I do want just a few more details in here. Bridge is also more helpful for finding your vid. Bridge is, oh, I see what you're saying, yeah. Um, I'm gonna have to see if there's other, any other, like, Valheim Bridge builds and see, like, if that's gonna be the only bridge, like, Valheim Bridge kind of niche. See if I can capitalize on some keywords, too. Um, yeah, there we go. Got some rugs going around the outside. So then the wood is really only in the center around the fireplace i kind of like that i really wish the smoke wasn't here from the kitchen below but it's all good it's all good multi-purpose harbor with a tower bridge not a bad idea yeah like yeah that's actually not a bad bad idea because that gets the harbor in there too that's the thing is like i want to include harbor in the name uh, i want to include the crane in the thumbnail but i just don't know i don't know 
I know I'm going to end up doing multiple thumbnails uh, and probably multiple titles too that alternate every about 12 hours. There's like a thing, I don't know if you guys are interested in that, so I won't get too much into it, but I'll probably do a tower bridge then after what you guys have said, and then I'll probably do multi-purpose harbor with tower bridge, maybe like the ultimate harbor for a little bit. I don't know. Because not no one thumb, thumbnail is actually going to capture um, everything that's in this build, unfortunately, uh, because I just kept building. I should have stopped building, but I just kept building, and so there's just like too much to get into one thumbnail. Got some banners. All right, I think I am done with this this room. So much to look at, so much. Got some armors to go. Let me do. Sign like right here. Armor to go. Can't even read it. That's okay though. Armor to go. Literally can't read that at all. That is the dumbest idea I've come up with to date, but that is okay. <laughs> It's better to use wolf fur on the floor. Oh yeah, I remember his name was saying Smitty. Somebody said Smitty uses it around the fire. Tower, bridge house, and it's harbor. Not bad. That is probably the best so far. I think kind of a kind of a combination of all of them. I think I'm good with this room like this. Ox rag. Not so, oh, you don't like the locks rag? I like it. I like it kind of just a nice little line around the outside. Kind of separates the uh, the floor a little bit. I love the locks rug. I love it though. I'm, I'm a little biased. I'm definitely a little biased. Basic starter house. <laughs> hey, I've already had enough people give me crap on my island starter house uh, video saying that there's stone ovens and stuff. So. If I called this a starter house, I'm pretty sure I'd start a riot. <laughs> um, maybe I could incorporate the wolf rugs. Let me see. Let me see. Uh, wolf rugs I could put in the center places. Or I could just leave the center places open. Ooh, what about that? Yo, and just have the locks rugs in the corners. Yo, that's a move that I have never done before, and I am enjoying it. I think I'm going to leave that. That's pretty sweet. Bridge house is in the dictionary. I looked it up. <laughs> nice. I honestly think I'm going to leave just the corner rugs. Okay, wait, 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 wait. It wouldn't be fair to not at least see what it would look like. The wolf rug in between. All right, what about this? What about this? Oh, no, I don't like that at all. That's too much. Is that too much? I kind of liked it with just the locks in the corner and the open walls here, like where the center uh, features are. But, I mean, if you guys say you like the wolf rugs, I'll leave the wolf rugs. Put the locks rugs under the chairs. Oh, I like the little deer rugs for the fire. You don't like the little cute little deer rugs for the fire? I gotta leave those. Those are cool. The little small deer rugs. I gotta leave those for the chairs. Almost two over here, but I'll be chilling for some more. It's all too good to be true. Hey man, don't 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 make me make you stay up too late, bro. You you need to if you need to get some sleep, get you some sleep. I got me some sleep last night, and I feel like a whole new person today. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Too much, I guess. Yeah. I'm just gonna leave it like this too much yeah I'm, th I'm thinking too much too all right let's get out of here i've spent too much time in here the armory is done looking sweet we got some armor to go over here on this side just a simple little display didn't want to do too much didn't want to block the doorway 
we've got the specialized armors and the strongest armors in this wall with the elder trophy over here we've got the weapons rack with all sorts of weapons and the bows in the middle over here we've got all of these starter armors in the game which iron and bronze aren't really starter but they are still kind of the first five armors that you do right here so pretty sweet nice little fireplace in the middle we got the riveted floor here with the iron cage pieces and yeah bedroom over here to match looking pretty sweet sitting area stuff on the sides beds over here bunk beds over here more beds i am loving this build so much going on yeah there is a lot going on in this build all right so now it is finally time to get started on the final bit of work in this build which is the dining hall actually after this i will go around and do like final touch-ups on the harbor um but yeah this is the final like new build but finished all for oh you're finished for college at the moment nice well do whatever you want no i'm just kidding <laughs> she'll stay on some type of schedule but that's awesome dude that's awesome I hope everything went well for the semester or whatever you were doing. I hope it all went well. Um, okay, so I was thinking about putting a circular table on both of this, this floor circle designs. Um, I was also thinking about, should I seal the floor? completely and get rid of all these holes what do you guys think are the holes gross or are the holes cool having a break with your stream appreciate it glad you're here glad you're here here and just chilling out good vibes all around i don't know man should i fill these i like the holes let me show you from the bottom if you see from underneath, the design looks pretty cool. The design looks pretty cool from underneath. So I'm tempted to leave it. But I don't know. I don't know. Logically, your leg would slip for sure. Absolutely, that's a leg breaker right there. At least an ankle twister, most likely a leg snapper. So it seems not real. All right, I'm gonna fill it up. I'm gonna fill it up. That is easy. Just a few minutes working on this and the floor will be filled up. And honestly, the design will still be somewhat there on the bottom. Oh, that was not correct. Uh, so I do think it'll still be cool. Nonetheless. Oops. On right over there. There you go. I think this is right. What am I doing? Okay. You know you pick... So it seems not real. No, you picked. That was just an opinion. <laughs> you could free place wood slightly below the top of the stone. Oh, I could actually. Yeah. Ooh. 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 Wait a second. 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 That could be like a cool, like double layered floor kind of look. Something like that? Yo. That's kind of sweet because from down below, it'll look exactly the same as before. And then from up top, it doesn't look like this is a hazard to have in your house. The 
there's no way for a person to transfer the cart with goods from one side of the harbor to another oh well no so the thing is is like so the thing is is like the this side is like like this side is where all the goods get offloaded right and then this side is supposed to be where like the sailors that came in on the boats, they chill and like relax and wait for their boat to be offloaded by the dock workers. And if they really need to bring anything around, they can bring it around too. Semester went okay, now waiting for 11 study points and stuff, so kind of big, hope it will work out. I'm gonna be honest, I have absolutely no idea what that means. But I wish you the best of luck, my friend, and I hope that that goes absolutely amazingly for you. That sounds very important. I don't, <laughs> it definitely sounds important. You got this, you got this. Okay, and the tricky thing is going to be, I wonder if I could actually get it to just go around with the floor the whole way. Wouldn't that be nice? Wouldn't that just be nice? Not really anywhere to get the next one. Uh, unless I just destroy this for a second. But then, will it let me place this back? Question of all questions. Actually, I think I, I might have free placed this. Uh, that was dumb. Can't do that. Oh no, and I can't put this back now because I put the iron bars after. That's a problem. Oh, it's because of this. Well, I can get rid of that for now. Sweet, okay. I was, I'm not gonna lie, I was kind of panicking for a second. Maybe it's a good idea to make a path for the carts around the Harbor Bridge house. That's not a bad idea. I could do... Well, the problem is there's a river back here. So I can't, I can't really do a path um, without doing a path across the river, which would defeat the whole purpose of having a bridge. <laughs> good idea, though. Good idea, though. Oh, I need 54 points gained by exams and portfolios to go to the next year of college i see so you need you're waiting for 11 points i see you got this dude they're coming in don't even worry about it they're coming in it's just that somebody's grading some papers or some paperwork hasn't gone through they're coming don't worry about it don't don't you even worry about it i'm feeling good vibes in the air no bad vibes Except for bad vibes about placing these floor pieces, which are like impossible to connect in all this stone. That's bad vibes. Not bad vibes about the grades, though. See it? Oh, I got it. Let's go. And that one's easy. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Problem is, well, actually, no. I can just, I'll just replace the middle again. And there might it might even let me nice yo look at that that is a really cool floor that is a really cool floor no problem no problem no problem at all anytime anytime always around for the good vibes Place one of these kind of at the same level as that, hopefully. It's just this placement right here that's really tricky to get. There we go. There we go. And then the one across is super easy. Alright, try to get it at the same ish level. That wasn't even close. Ooh, why is it like doing that? All right, nice, nice, nice. And then 
Oh no. It's like impossible to get this one. Here, let me just let me just do it from this way. Oh, that was terrible. There we go. Definitely do that one. Sweet. And then two more. I just punched that for no reason. Okay. This is awesome. This floor looks so cool. Good ideas. Good ideas. Harbor Bridge House. Yeah, I could just just name it Harbor Bridge House. Chris, you're being summoned. Chris, you're being summoned. Where is the art thou, Chris? Alright, so... We've got the dining room. We've got two tables that are going to need all sorts of food on them. Going to have to do that. Bunch of chairs. But I'm thinking also kind of in the sides over here, like by the wall, going to have to have some cabinets with some food on display as well as the tables, as well as the tables. Awesome. And the towers. And the towers. What do you mean? I do want to see how does this look down below now. Yeah, it looks completely fine. It looks the same. You still get the really cool design from down below. And now we have the uh, the floors inside, which actually look legit. So that's pretty sweet. Harbor Bridge House. Oh, I see what you're saying for his name. Harbor Bridge House Towers. <laughs> I see. I see. I see. Harbor Bridge House Towers. Try to say that five times fast. Harbor Bridge House Towers. Harbor Bridge House Tower. Har yep, no. Nope. Can't do it. Can't do it. Can't do it. Alright, so shelving. Definitely need some shelving. But I do want it to be... Yeah, that's fine. Okay. So I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Because both sides I do want to have... Okay, yeah. It's going to... So I have to do that on all of them. Um... I want to have some food on display on the sides. Now, should I do... Hmm. I could also do like one of these things where you kind of just free place it underneath. I don't mind that. I think that actually looks really nice for the length of this shelf. So that's what I'm going to do. So they kind of look like they're just leaning on that one leg. I need to drink some water. My throat is dry. Ah, that is wonderful. There's nothing better than some, some nice water when you need it. Oh, yeah. Where's your, uh, Chris is the, the word guy. So, Chris, I need your help with the, the video name. A real tongue twister. You're all on the right track, I think. Harbor Bridge House or similar. That's that's fair. That's fair. HBH. <laughs> so I'm thinking. So I definitely want to do a mead rack in here, but I wonder if I could tuck one underneath here. I believe I can. Oh, I can't see the tops of these, so I gotta get rid of this for a second. And actually, go ahead and get the mead. Spawn mead health medium three spawn mead 
Frost resist three, spawn mid. Poison resist three, okay. Oh, I've got so much stuff in my inventory. I didn't realize that. Grab all that, pick up all these, and boom. All right. So, for the mead rack, I might be able to do, I think this side, I'll probably do two mead racks. Or I could do a really tall mead rack here instead of doing um, a shelf. That could be fine. So let's grab a stool. And let's start placing these things. Whoops. Got to zoom in all the way for now. And we'll start with the old poison resistance. All right. This cabinet is going to be, this is really, I might have to do four four would be too wide i can make this work i can make this work do a yellow one oh i see the problem here okay How many would four, two, three, four? Honestly, I think it'd be better with four. Let's try it with four. This is a very unique space for this. I've never, uh, never been so confined with this. So I'm gonna try and Love that shelf in the last video by the way nice appreciate it man appreciate it appreciate it bridge house has been used by another creator but i like harbor bridge house or tower bridge house okay i was wondering if there was any other uh valheim bridge tower house type of thing okay so harbor bridge house or tower bridge house okay both of those sound nice I'll probably alternate a couple times, so I'll probably go between those. Arbor, bridge, house, tower, bridge. Damn, there was, there was some earlier too, but I don't remember what it is, but that's okay. That's okay. It's here. Okay. Another one is in. Actually, it's slightly over. Man, this stuff is so meticulous, but I think it's worth it. I really do. <clears throat> I really do. And I'm actually going to now take this out so that I can do one over here. See how they look right next to each other in this weird space. If, if I could actually pull that off without it looking weird. Actually, you know what I'll do is I'll turn it this way. I think that's the right way for this. Yes, it is. All right.
<laughs> Trying to hunt locks and follow stream. Not easy task. Yeah, be careful. Don't get zapped by a death skeeto. Uh, crap. Which way was that facing? I'll just do one of those, actually. That's fine. It doesn't matter. Look at this. I really should have put one down on the bottom layer, too, but it's okay. Bridge out towers with the harbor. Yeah. Bridge. House. Tower. With harbor. That's going to be a good one, too, because that's got everything in it. Actually, for this one... I'll do this, and this, and then get rid of this. Looking nice, looking nice. couple of health potions next to each other try to get like a little health potion section all right all right all right Let's see actually I want to test something really quick I'm gonna have to do that just to keep it looking symmetrical that's fine, that's fine. Cuts off a little bit of the window, but that is a-okay. Oh, come on, let me place it. Alright, I'm about to get rid of this. If any stone collapses above me, I'm gonna be real sad. I don't think those are actually structural, but... So I'm thinking a frost resist would be cool here. Okay, and then some green ones would be cool. Wow, I am so zoomed in right now because the camera's stuck on the stone above me. And then maybe one more. Do like another yellow one. I'm going to have to do it from the other way. that gonna work oh i didn't really scoot this stool over enough that's a shame but that's okay that's okay still still at it eh? oh yeah maybe too much of the last tray poison bombs will look good in the cabinet the poison ones definitely look good i love the look of the poison ones we'll leave the two on the right What's up, y'all? What up, Carl? How you doing? Good to see you again. Thanks for stopping by. I love, I love, I'm very new to streaming still. I love seeing people coming back. Always makes me happy. 
YOLO is my favorite color. <laughs> um... <laughs> okay, so that should be fine right here. Alright, nice. So, there'll be a shelf over in this corner, shelves over in these corners, and a mead rack in this one. I like that. A little bit of change there, so it's not just shelves in all the corners. Man, it is really getting close to the end. I am kind of sad. I am really sad. I'm gonna grab some cut up mango. Got me some cut up mangoes for the stream today. And these little cups, I almost just broke my foot trying to go get them though. Jesus, I'm all right, everything's fine. <laughs> I usually call poison bombs as aroma bags. Okay, okay. All right, time to test these things. Are they actually good? Cutting, cutting up fruit is something I was trying to avoid here. Save a little time. Okay, it's not bad. A little like mango, cut up mangoes in a little cup. That's not bad. Okay. It does kind of feel like the texture's a little off. Like maybe... Maybe they're like a little bit old mangoes. Like they're definitely not the precious mangoes. Oh no, dude. I stubbed the crap out of my toe to be honest. But I'm kind of just like trying not to feel it right now. Mango, get me hungry. Yeah. It's actually pretty good. They're a little bit stale or something, but they're still really sweet, really nice. <laughs> All right. All right. One mango cup down. I'll do the other one in a little bit. Oh my God, I just got mango juice everywhere. That's okay. Back to building. Everything's gonna be fine. Mango juice all over my desk but whatever all right so dining room now i want fruit and all i have is pizza hey man pizza has got to be one of the best inventions the human race has ever come up with so it could be worse <laughs> it could be worse so on the sides i want to have like spare food there but I don't really care, like, if it makes, if it's realistic. You know what I mean? Like, if the food is going to go bad. I just want to have some spare food there. Whatever looks cool. So, first things first, I'm thinking it'd be sweet to have a bunch of soup on one of them. Possibly even have, like, two shelves of soup. Like, all the soup. You know what I'm saying? Let's see. Let's see if that is doable. Maybe even do something like that. Is that weird? That's not weird. That's actually not bad at all. The only problem is... I don't like... Oh, it's not supported over there, but that's okay. Whatever. I'm leaving it. I want to do two shelves of soup, so I'm doing it. The soup! It's a shock, but I can't eat pizza. I don't know why, but I just can't. I can't either. I just got, yeah, I just, my diet just got so restricted after getting sick for six weeks. I uh, can pretty much eat meat, vegetables, and fruit right now. No carbs, nothing. So I feel you, Ixie. Don't worry about it. We can eat no pizza together. <laughs> it is what it is, you know? It is what it is. Black pudding gets its own bowl. I've never had black pudding in real life. But I've, I've heard some people really like it. 
It's bloody tasty. That's actually funny. I see that because it's it's blood, right? I've never read the description. That's funny. That's actually pretty funny. All right, let's get some soups in here. So I like to use... No, that is not what I like to use. Carrot soup is really small. So I want to do a couple of these in like a cute little spot together. Pizza is an open face sandwich. <laughs> I mean, if you fold it in half, does that mean then that it's an actual sandwich? Hmm. Hmm. All right, so I'm thinking carrot soup times three in a cute little spot like in the back. Oh, they're even smaller than I thought. Okay, 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 okay. I'm thinking carrot soup run along the back wall then. Except, okay, wait, hold up, hold up. I need to slow it down. This is about to get so meticulous, but it's going to be worth it. Because it's going to look awesome. I still did this wrong, but that's okay. I like that. I'm thinking one more right here. I'm gonna scoot this just over a little bit. They are right next to each other. And I'm gonna scoot this one over a little bit. These two are right next to each other. Nice, looking cute. And then Always with the tankards. You can never go wrong with some tankards. Will you, Jeremiah? Black pudding gets its own bowl. Put that black pudding soup. Is it good? Real question. Yeah, is it good? You said the same thing. Why did I get sick? Uh, there's some uh, stuff about it in my community tab if you want to check it out. Uh, uh, it's, it's really complicated, to be honest. I don't want to bring the vibes down. <clears throat> um... I really make I rarely make like six weeks is a lot man how you guys sick for that long it uh, I, I have an autoimmune disease but I have some information about it in the uh, community tab if you want to check it out New York pizza was originally designed to be folded in half like a taco so it could be wrapped in paper and carried easily for lunch yeah I love folding pizza it's good I, I like that because I love the crust you know I love the dough make like 20 for the third boss yeah so I have I use blood pudding for um it's really good for stamina. So whatever you, that's why I have it. I have it for building. That's, these three things are really high in stamina. Ice, ice cream, blood pudding, and bread. So that's why I always have these on me because I'm just always building and playing in God mode. So I don't have to worry about um, health and food. Food black, probably made a mistake. Black pudding is distinctly British. No, I think it is British, right? Or, or possibly like a UK thing, like Irish and stuff too. Uh, they might also eat it, I think. I don't know though. In the Netherlands, yeah, and, and in the Netherlands, so it's yes, yeah, so, okay. Vibes are good, keep it. I agree. I agree. Two, three, four, got some tankards, and then up here, maybe like I'm thinking some bread. eight 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 boom look at that bread looks so nice next to other bread like in real life and in the game you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying that is such a great spot for a tankard i gotta be honest cute little small spot there oh oh there we go love the great vibes i just want to keep the great vibes you know i just want to keep the great vibes chill some nice chill music i got some more music today i said that earlier but for anybody that wasn't there i got some more music today for the stream so now there are like four playlists all queued up right now just playing in the background so i don't have to deal with it and it's all chill music here fair nation in a few weeks nice what are you going to the netherlands for casey 
in your fair nation. <laughs> oh, I really want to put like one more thing there, but that's honestly already like good. Oh my gosh, what am I getting stuck on? Uh, I could probably put maybe some some storage. Yeah, it'd be nice to have some storage in here too. That would make sense actually. So a little shelf with some food. We got the mead here. Um, yeah, I think I like this. Possibly like, nah, I like this, I like this, I like this. So now we come over here, start working on the next shelf. The Netherlands is the best. Aren't you a little biased? Isn't that like, you know? <laughs> Isn't that a little biased? I have heard the Netherlands are pretty cool though. I saw it's in London, mostly ate South Asian food. It made me very happy. Yeah, I ate a bunch of Thai food when I went to London in college. Bunch of Thai food. I did too, actually. That's funny. There are ghosts and lava in the Netherlands. So, for this table, I'm thinking. It always. I feel like it makes sense to have some serpent meat. Where's the serpent meat? I know it's in here somewhere. I wish all the food was together. Like it's all good, but I would I really wish all the food was together. Definitely want to do some sausages somewhere. Clean jam for sure. I love those things for decoration. Wolf jerky is pretty cool too. Yum yum noodles are the best. Every time I go on vacation, I seek out fish and chips at all the local restaurants. Nice. Yeah, they had, a, like, the people I was with got a lot of fish and chips in London. I tried a couple of, the, like, meat pies and stuff, and I loved them, too. I wish we had more of that stuff here in the States. Ghost probably, lava yes, and no lava lamps. <laughs> I have a lava lamp that I've had since I was, like, five years old. I never use it, though. So I'm getting a bunch of food here that I'm going to be using for decorations. Some random stuff that I might not use. Um, some stuff that I will use. Actually, I should get the tankards later, but that's okay. Okay. I also need to add some lighting in here somewhere. Need to add some chairs around the tables, decorations to the tables. Lots to do. Still lots to do. I was thinking about doing a big chandelier in here, actually. Um, but I am definitely new to the chandelier making in Valheim. I did, I have tried one that came out okay, but honestly, I have no idea what I'm doing. So I might try it, but I might also just get rid of it. Um, okay. So the next shelf, Croquet and Frickadel. That's cool. Um... Let's see. Oh, I could also put some. What would make sense here? Uh, just like boar heads and deer heads, I guess. What else can you eat out of the trophies? <laughs> Neck tail. Yeah, so I could do all three of those. Spawn trophy, torphy, trophy, deer, neck, uh, or I don't even think I can pick it up. My inventory is full. Oh, ah, the dining hall, the dining hall, the dining hall. Mayo and curry with onion. I love mayo, so I would probably love that. Frickando. Frickin Frickando. Frickando. I don't know how you say that, but that sounds cool. Awesome how you pronounce that. Okay, don't even start about my writing. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, wait a second. You didn't even spell it right, so don't make fun of me for pronouncing it wrong. <laughs> what the heck? All right, I got to place some things here. My progress is slowing. I'm focusing on chat. Must play skewers. Must play skewers. 
I love doing skewers like this. That's just like, it just, it seems like it's just meant to be a decoration. I love that. Okay. I'm thinking possibly like a big soup right here. Isn't serpents too big? Wow, how many times do I punch things in stream? Probably 50 times I punch random inanimate objects. Am I the only person that does that? Or do other people do that too? That's kind of... What? No. I just ate the serpent stew. Are you kidding me? Uh, okay. Okay. Actually, look at the thing. Oh, that's not as big as I thought it was going to be. Or Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Turn up stew. Throw another stew in there. Some onion soup. What? Inventory full? Oh, gosh. Uh, oh, get rid of these. Get rid of these. Onion soup. Give me that. Get out of here. Okay. So I'm taking another little soup section, but this time I have like a variety of soups. Soups on soups on soups. Okay, so... Oh my gosh, I put my hammer down. This one is good. It just needs to come a little bit this way. I think that was right. I think that was right. Look at that. Look at that. My English is getting more shuffle. A bit tired over there. A bit tired over there. <laughs> I do it with a hammer sometimes, lol, that I have to repair. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. 237 G's. Don't tell me to punch it, Chris. I will punch it. I'll just start punching stuff. English so better. Oh, it's 337 for Ixies. Jeez. 530. Dang, Jeremiah, you better be saying PM. Jeremiah's pulling an all-nighter on Wednesday night that neck eating that neck is it does kind of look like the neck eating man maybe over here i could put like three trophies like three things of soup pm okay good okay okay what could i put here on the wall is there like a nut like i could isn't there what's the thing for like yeah, like a silver knife. I could say like this is for like cutting stuff up. I don't know. I feel like that kind of makes sense. Got some jerky in there too. What the neck doing? He's chilling, man. He's just chilling. Oh, you're West Coast? Okay. Alright, Ixie. Let's see. Over here, I've got some more things I could do. I think I need to just put a chest under all these. I think that would make the most sense like food storage or something i need more lighting in here jeez do i do this where do i put lighting i could put lighting in the tables you're gonna let me place the table though nah that is the most disappointing thing i've ever seen but that's okay that's okay though, that's okay, that's okay. Nailed it. Absolutely nailed that placement. Dang it, now I'm off the other way. Okay, I'm off both ways. I hate 
doing this sometimes and you're like really trying to line something up but it's like like from one angle you can see perfectly one way but you can't see the other way so it's like it's so i know that this if i get to that lamp post i'm too far i need to scoot over literally like one inch All right, at the lamppost is too far, so like right here. I'm a genius. Yes, okay, nice. That was a nice little trick. That's a nice little trick. Is this one in the right place? Nice, I just guessed with this one. It could scoot over a little bit, actually. It could definitely scoot over just a little bit. So, I need to go over just a little bit into it really you don't let me place in that lamp at all wow i didn't realize that chandelier ain't gonna build itself <laughs> yeah i i should probably get on that that is going to take forever because i have no idea what i'm doing with the chandelier one of the nice parts about building for not YouTube is you can just go F it and settle for close enough to a place where they're like, yeah, that's true too. That's true too. Just like, yeah, the friendly genius. I wish, man. <laughs> I wish. Move it over right to the lantern and I should be good. Auto save. Okay. Too much. Dang it right to the lamp and then down a little bit nice okay sweet 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 yeah that really is a good point you know when you're not building for youtube you can just do whatever i see what you're saying i thought you were saying for here on my stream i don't have to worry about it but you know i'm still gonna do the tour video but i see what you're saying sometimes um I think about that i'm like maybe i should just make a side world and start a build but my thing is like man if i start a build i'm gonna get sucked into it and then like three days later i've done no work or anything and i'm just like building for fun that could be bad that could be dangerous for me what time is it 8 43 yeah I'm, I'm east coast by the way i'll tell you that i'm east coast us it's 8 43 for me right now I'm about to eat these other mangoes. Get some of that fruit. Oh man. You know, like sometimes you don't realize how hungry you are until you start eating and you're like, whoa. All right, mangoes consumed. I heard this time, quick mango consumption. I want to stay longer, but really got to go. Some gaming with my girl tomorrow. Must be ready for that. Play some it takes two, man. Absolutely. It was good to see you. Thanks for stopping by and hanging out. Have a good night. Get some sleep. And uh, yeah, maybe streaming again next week. We'll see. We'll see. I'll put out an announcement, if so, for sure. All of a sudden, food tastes super good. Exactly, yeah. And you're like, oh my god. I needed this food right now. Okay, so we've got meat and soup with some trophies. And a silver knife that you could cut some stuff. We've got the mead rack over here. Over here, we've got some soup. Which I actually kind of want to... Hmm... I wonder if I could fit like I want to see if I could fit like I could definitely fit some jerky here that's what I'm gonna do that's what I'm gonna do right there we go a little bit of jerky there that that kind of makes that and then maybe just tuck into the back one of those yeah all right so now, 
Last, last one. Last one. Hope to see you soon. Yeah, hopefully we can get the stream up and run it again next week. Say goodbye to Ixie for me. Will do. Will do. Night and day. Yeah. Um. Let's see. What to do over here? Some more. What do I have already for food in here? So I've got I've got a tankard. Some sausages. The sausages are kind of tricky. Because they take up such a huge space. Do that right there. I'm still punching things. I don't know. I, I got to figure out why I do that sometimes. I want to get these a little bit closer. I did it again. What am I doing wrong? I love those. Those together look so good. Uh, okay. I do. I don't want to do any more of this here. Right. Watch a tutorial on how to not punch things. Well, it wouldn't be on my channel, that's for sure, because <laughs> I clearly haven't figured it out yet myself. Get rid of all this stuff. My inventory is full again. I think I'm done. Well, I might use them in a minute. Need a little bit more of that jerky. Who love the queen jam and fire resist? Oh, and the fire resist. Why do I keep forgetting that? I'm gonna throw a jerky in there. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to do that up up on another shelf. Let me let me do that right now. Let me do that right now. Uh oh, might have to move the queen's jam. Yeah, the Queen's Jam is jammed into that now. That's that's a problem. That is a problem. I mean, I don't really have to support it, but I think it looks better if I do. I think I need to scoot this over to here though yeah there we go there we go there we go well if I knew how to spell there we go Harley one should do like 10 of these because I love these things and they stack so what I love to do most, put my hammer on ice stands instead or whatever else I was trying to do at the moment. Yeah. Yeah. No comment. <laughs> no comment. If I have 50 cents for every time I put my hammer in an item stand this stream, I'd be a billionaire. Alright, uh, how, what's the best way to do these? So if it's facing backwards, it's sideways. Okay. It's facing to the right and front and left. So, so what do I want? Probably right back, right, front, left. So front.
try to leave a good enough space that they can actually are not like combined in each other yeah that's perfect lovely you really on the top shelves have to bring them to the front that's why i did that because you can't see the back stuff as well all right you could afford a new pc <laughs> I just need to keep making hammer placement mistakes and I'll be fine. Upgrade the whole channel. I'll just pay an editor. I don't even have to do any more editing. <laughs> I think I want to do the Queen's Jam up here. The problem is that thing I just said is like, you really can't see it in the back. And I punch something. There we go. Queen's Jam tucked in the window, so there I like that. Why am I? I still. I, I don't know why I do that sometimes. I don't know if I'm like going away from something too quickly, and then I just punch something. Okay, nice. Uh, I really need like one more thing up here. I wonder if I could just like sneak a loaf of bread on the end. That'd be cool. Yeah, that's nice. Alright. Couple little shelves with some food. At least a new mouse key would replace those sticky mango juice covered ones. Yeah, I know. I really need to clean that up, but I don't want to stop the stream to... Clean up my mess, because I'm a messy eater. <laughs> Alright, now time to finally get to the tables. Which... I don't, how many chairs should I put around the table? I guess eight. I mean, I could definitely do eight. Whoops, that one went down. i make sure they're all placed at the same height with this weird floor. Invalid placement. That was weird. Whoops. Okay. Chairs. Sweet. Let's do it again. Whoops. This. Can't tell if this is lower or taller. Can't tell if that's just the texture changing there. Or if the chair is going lower. That's okay. I'll see you in a minute when it looks shorter than all the rest. Yeah, I think these are going to be shorter. Oh, no. Okay, wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. There's got to be a solution here. Yep. Okay. Oh, I Ixie's back. Uh, Mitchell had to leave. Mitchell said to say bye, Ixie. I think they're all at the right height. This is freaking me out. Over here, the stone is all weird. I mean, it's essentially the same, but it's weird. Yeah, this just chair has to be so far back to be in the right height. That is going to be a problem, I think. Huh, I wonder if I could just cheat for a second and do like... Something like that. Yeah. Except I kind of want to scoot that in a little more. Uh, it's just a tiny bit more, but that's okay. Alright. No problem, no problem. 
Uh, yeah, so chairs at the tables. This place is looking pretty good. I probably should have put rugs. Nah, no rugs, no rugs, because I want this place to... I want you to be able to see the floor in here. A rug on the table. That would be so ridiculous. Just like... <laughs> Okay, oh, stupid nightlight thing on my computer always comes on, which honestly is pretty cool, like, but it changes the whole way that the game looks, so, um, I wonder if I could do rugs, though, like, in the center of the room? Nice. Let's do like one line of rugs in here. Just to change it a little bit from the stone. I might leave that. I might change it. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I kind of like it actually. Alright. So this is when we do some fancy stuff. Now I always remember this incorrectly. So probably going to do it wrong the first time. But that's okay. Probably gonna do it wrong the first time. So I do this. Yeah, I'm already forgetting it. I think if I do these three high. Then I think it'll be right. Mitchell is an amazing guy. He's a really nice guy. He is a really nice guy. I was super sick, and he showed up on my channel and uh, saying hey and saying he was hoping I was good and stuff, and it was really nice. It was really nice. Um, I guess I might need all this stuff, so I can't really get rid of it, but my inventory is so full. Alright, so we got that, but the problem is, is it going to let me, yeah, 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 and then bring the other two up, nice, and now we have a platter which we can decorate, personally, I prefer to do it with fruit, whoops, and maybe a cloudberry in the middle. I like the rugs in the middle where the stone floor is less exciting. I totally agree. I also didn't like where like the two pieces of stone were together. So I was kind of not feeling that. I really appreciate how warm and welcoming the Valheim community has been overall. I absolutely agree with that. I love my... Uh, I don't really know how to use Reddit. Like, I have no idea how to use Reddit. I've been learning just with Valheim. And everybody except for one person has been so nice. Like, I don't know if it's just the game. Like, the nature of the game or something. Like, survival games. Or, like, I don't know. But I 100% agree with that. That looks good. But I don't want Cloudberry there. Actually, what I want there is one of these. Can't speak for the chat, but I suspect the game helped many of us out a bunch of the pandemic. It's just nice to have something to do with friends. I think I can agree with that. It's honestly been a really no nice place to just chill and have fun and do some building and relax and, I don't know, farm some stone or something. Like, just have some fun. Like, back in the day, I used to do that in Minecraft, but Minecraft was just getting old, and then this came out, and it was like, yes, I can get into that grind. Absolutely. So, now what I want to do is, I mean, ideally, if I could surround this platter 
which I just realized is not centered. That pisses me off, but that's okay. We're not going to talk about that. We're not going to talk about that. Ideally, if I could surround this with like some food, that would be really cool. Man, I didn't even check if that was centered. Why did I not check for that? That is, that was a rookie mistake right there, but that is okay. Also, I didn't rotate the, uh, the thingy, so let me do that. And then do it again. I'm thinking like possibly possibly some carrot soups it is centered winky face 100% agreed 100% agreed And I ate one of the carrot soups. I am real. I'm gonna be known. I'm gonna be like the Valheim guy from this clicks. I mean, in one stream alone, I don't even. <laughs> so many misclicks. Okay, so that I'm really liking how that looks. Not centered, but all good. That's the first time I've used the sausages to like surround the platter and they actually looked, they actually like kind of played into it as long as you um, rotate the item stand with it. That worked out pretty nicely. And then I could just put some, I would say, kind of like there, there, and there. And a few tankards. All right. Table down. So if anybody didn't see how I did the platter thing, you can check it out right now because I'm about to do it again. It's a cool idea to put a serpent meat on an item stand and a hole in between. Put smith like mead or more meat. What does SMTH mean? I'm, I'm confused. Serpent meat on an item stand and in a hole in between. But, oh, something. I'm so dumb. Something like mead or meat. Oh. So. Okay. That's a really cool idea. Let me see. So maybe I'm not going to do the platter thing again. The platter thing is really easy though. Uh, you just go like this. I showed this in my cave video. My underground cave house. You make a shape like this. And then you don't get your hammer stuck. And then you do another on the outside ones. You stack it up again. And then you stack it up again. So there's, these are actually layered three times. You put the shield in the middle. And then you add the two other layers for the middle. And they're like all above the shield something plus 50 cents i don't want to hear it casey i don't want to, <laughs> i'm trying i'm trying oh my gosh <laughs> plus 50 cents um <laughs> where's the serpent meat where's the serpent uh yo where is the serpent meat I know it's here somewhere. I might just spawn it in. 
I am scrolling really fast too. I should probably should have slowed it down. Slowed it down. What is going on? All right. Spawn. Serpent meat cooked. Yeah, I can just do this. Gosh, that thing is huge. That's the problem though. Is like, I don't even know. If, like, I'd have to do like a thing on the side. I mean, let's see. I really want to do this. So. Get rid of all of those. I mean, at that level, literally, if you're sitting here and you're trying to talk to the guy over here, it's like, you. It's like, sorry, man. I literally can't even hear you. There is a giant hunk of meat in between me and you. My face and your face. Slurred it down. Fun times. <laughs> All right, so excellent idea. We're gonna put some something here in the middle. Yeah, I'm thinking actually my new favorite looking mead. Oh wait, these have to be facing, what was it back right? Oh, that's right. They have to be facing forward for the design on the fiery mead to be facing forward. And I just drank it. Oh, I think I have to do these first, maybe? Or... Yo. Yo, yo, yo. Good stuff, Ixie. Good stuff. Another for the meat, a little aside. Put the meat first, then the serpent. Yeah, it is meat first, serpent. You're right. I wish I had looked over, but yeah. Yeah, you need to eat serpent first. <laughs> meat under table, it may clip through. Stealing. <laughs> hmm. The only thing is, though, is that's it for this table. I'm really done. Maybe I could just do, like, some soups and tankards then. So I can focus more on the, like, little things by the chairs on this table, where the other table is focused more on that, like, centerpiece, like, wrapped all around, like, the blueberries and stuff. So let's get some soups. Turnip stew. I already passed onion stew. I probably flew right by onion stew. Or onion soup, pardon me. Okay. And I need some tankard. Is that close enough? It is, but... Dang it. My inventory's full again. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Harmony was about two hours ago, Casey. Oh no, what did I miss? Did you build the armory yet? Yes, I did actually, unfortunately. But, I can show you the armory. Oh, I can't pick up any of this stuff. Dang it. My inventory is so full. There we go. But, I can show you the armory though. Check it out. Armory came out pretty cool. So, this was the first thing I built. This is the weapons rack. Um, knives for the guests. You need to cut the serpent somehow. That's fair. I need to add something like that. So, weapons rack over here. We've got all, like, a bunch of different weapons. Got the bows in the middle. Uh, you know, just some storage on the sides and stuff. And it's labeled weapons rack with one of the boss trophy heads. As you look to the right, we've got labeled at the top armor, boss trophy head. Same type of design. And, uh, here we're switching over to armor. This is all the starter armors, the first five starter armors in the game. There's nine total armors I was counting up earlier. So the other 
four are over on this side, still labeled armor, another boss trophy head, and you got the two like kind of specialized ones in the middle, and then padded armor, and uh, not Drake armor, the, uh, the uh, uh, yes, armor over there. <laughs> um, yeah, so armor, weapons, and then here are the kind of armors to go. So you've got leather armor for the workers down in the harbor, and also if they're being attacked, You've got more of this arm wolf armor that's what it is wolf armor uh on the side and little desks and stuff to like put on your boots and stuff sit out on the seat and then i just did a fireplace in the middle just like i did across in the bedroom just a nice little hearth in the middle to hang out by stay warm and uh yeah some locked rugs in the corners and yeah cool little ceiling design same as the bedroom with the the centered posts going up from the corners to the roof you can also put a butcher's knife on top of the serpent meat. Stack the stands up to the top. Oh. Challenge accepted. Is that going to be enough? I don't know how many it's going to take. Alright, I just did 15, so... Fourteen? No. Thirteen. Thirteen is where it's at. Yo, good idea. Armor stands mount weapons versus item stands. Yeah. Uh, what can I get rid of right now? I just need to get rid of some food, and I can spawn it back in if I need it. I need to just do that. I keep not doing it and just not using the food and just not having a functioning inventory. Um... So, where is the... I know I found it earlier. Actually, I could just spawn it in. Ah, uh, dang it. Um, knife, silver. Oh, I'm gonna have to take it, and then... I... Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. So it needs to be scooted over. Probably to here. Alright, that is much better on the placement, but yeah, 13 apparently is the sweet spot for this, which is kind of funny. Got to get rid of all the old ones. I don't want to leave them. And then... I really think I'm gonna try 12 though actually because 13 you could kind of see it and if you can get it perfectly that and like you can't see it at all that would be really cool Did I just get rid of the knife I just got rid of the knife give me back a knife okay I got back a knife dang it did I get rid of one and I just forgot ah oh, gosh what is with me tonight uh, no, I did not get rid of one yet. Okay. So, let's get rid of one. So, it'll be a stack of 12 and a knife. And serpent meat, which keeps going back into my inventory. Boom. And you can't see the knife at all. <laughs> nice. Alright, so 13 is the magic number, but you will be able to see the... Um, uh, item stand just a little bit, but that's okay. And yes, Casey, I don't know if you just saw that, but I did just stick my hammer to an item stand, so that was another 50 cents. <laughs> um, where is the serpent meat? There it is. Three. Boom. That's really cool. That is so creative. Thank you guys for this idea. 
it's gonna be crazy on the tour video because like i don't even yeah it ended up being 13 um you're up to one i'm up to 150 and only what we've seen like since i started like since i said that and we started counting i mean i can't even imagine the times before i did it 12 and a half <laughs> yeah 12 and a half would honestly be perfect but that's okay in my video the tour video i'm gonna have to shout out the stream like there's no way i can't like so many little ideas of this like whole harbor and this whole build came from you guys just like throwing ideas out there so i'm definitely gonna have to shout out the stream let's see we gotta get some more soups in here definitely what is that that looks like onion soup i thought i did turnip soup I thought that was turnip soup. I'll do onion here. Oh, there's the turnip. The so five. That is literally in the chair. Nobody's gonna want to eat chair soup. All right, let me redo that. Five. It's still chair soup. Is that chair? That's chair soup too. What the heck? What am I doing? All right. Cool. I like to tuck a tankard right next to the soup. Make it really cozy. That's okay. It clips a little bit. And then I want to get another soup. Probably the carrot soup. It will be $150. No doubt. No doubt at all in my mind. That will absolutely be a ridiculous amount of money. Uh, by the end of this stream and one more tankard which is actually in the soup <laughs> all right here we go looking good looking good absolutely loving the dining room absolutely loving it so i don't know if i want to add more lighting yeah this is an awesome table. i like both the tables too this got the little like spirally display and then this one's got like the soups all around it and the serpent meat with the stuff tucked inside and the knife this is awesome this is really cool got the little shelves on the side mead shelf soup shelf with food and tankards some bread some queen's jam uh they all have chests underneath um, jerky skewers soup trophies knife to cut stuff bunch of tankards bunch of mead um you know just all sorts of little things in this room absolutely loving it so well it's only it's only 9 19 so i guess that means I will attempt a chandelier. What's up, Snowleaf Studio? How you doing? Welcome to the stream. Try stacking wooden shields. It looks good. Like piled dishes. Oh, that's not a bad idea. Get some water. That's not a bad idea at all. Um, not where I would put that though. That's the only problem at this point. It might be a little too late, but I will remember that for the future. I do want to do like. One little extra tanker here and there in the dining room. Uh, just to add a little bit extra stuff. All right. So, chandelier. Now the problem is gonna be, what I'm, we're gonna run into here is anchoring this thing. There is nothing to anchor this to says it's blue but it's not blue it's probably red so i don't know what's gonna happen with that i need a snapping point in the middle maybe right there Something like that. Gonna be okay if it's that tall. 
Uh, I think it needs to come down a little bit. I'm just waiting for this whole thing to break, but it's not breaking, so I don't know. So I've done a small chandelier. I'm going to go for like a full size chandelier this time. And honestly, I'm just winging it right now. So if this looks ridiculous to you, it's probably because it is ridiculous. But that's okay. I mean, that size might have a place in the future. Micro chain time? Oh. I see what you're saying now. What happened when I comment on other accounts? All comment got disappeared. What, what, what are you talking about, man? Um, micro chain time? I could do a micro chain here, but it's going to be hidden by this stuff anyway. I, I don't know. Looks amazing. I mean, it's, it's all right. It's all right. All right, let's get some details on this thing. What? Really? Everybody, like, there's there's been this person that's been showing up on all my Reddit posts saying, back up all your saves, like, back up all your saves, back up all your saves. I'm always like, I'm always paranoid, and I usually back up my saves. I actually haven't backed this one up in a while, though. That's crazy, Chris. Like, completely gone, or just, like, the last 30 minutes, um, gone? Yeah, I back up the save folders. I just take the, the world saves out, um, and I just... I just have them on my desktop, like different copies of all my worlds. Half an hour, then I refresh. I comment on in here half an hour, then I refreshed all comment, got disappeared. I don't know, man. YouTube removes a lot of comments, you know? I don't know. What was the account? Tell me the account name, and I can see if YouTube uh, flagged it for it being like inappropriate or something like that. Sometimes it flags some really weird comments. Uh, if you were cussing in it, it'll also flag it, and then I have to review it. Um, you know, I don't know. Alex Hart? Um, I don't see any, any... You just commented today? I don't see anything... I see. Playlist, uh, comments. I don't see anything, man. Alex Hart. can rename the dial pass no no inappropriate stuff um Let me see. Uh, 
Alex Hart, uh, Alex Hart, Alex Hart. Nah, man, I don't see, I don't see you anywhere. I don't know. I don't always get notified about stuff, and YouTube does a lot of things that, like, you know, I don't really have any capability of stopping. All gone on this character, map is still populated. What the heck? Oh, well, map is still populated, but all gone on this character. We can see you now, welcome. Yeah, we can see you, so, you know, there is that, at least, but... Dang, I'm sorry, Chris, that really sucks. That kept happening to me also, Chris. Yeah, no problem, Snowleaf. I'm sorry about that. I couldn't find Alex Hart anywhere, I don't know. No, no like, comments held for review, no comments haven't replied to, nothing, so I don't know. It wasn't in my feed, my notifications, or anything. Yo, is this chandelier gonna break? How is it even supported right now? This is crazy. Um, Alright, so I gotta figure out stuff to put on this. I think I'm gonna do... I like the root helmets on it. Did that in the other chandelier I did. I thought those looked really good on the chandelier. Oh my gosh, I put my hammer on it again. Another 50 cents. <laughs> I think we're at $2 already. Back to save folder, delete the save, rename the .old files to original names. I know I need to rename my worlds too now that you can do that, but I'm a little sketched to do that with everybody saying their worlds are getting deleted. That's a shame, man. I would I would be totally destroyed if I lose my island. I agree, there are some worlds that would but I have I do have backups of pretty much everything though. Dang man, I'm sorry about that. That sucks. The game needs to recalculate the support tree for every adjacent object, which can take an awful long time on a build this big. Oh, jeez, that sounds complicated. Every time I go from cloud to local or local to cloud. Yeah, so maybe it just went from like local to cloud or something and you can go back maybe? Yeah, when you place it. Then up top, I don't know what I could put up top. Sync to a folder on your PC. You could also try moving the cloud save to local or vice versa. need two more things to put in this chandelier just save it first yeah for sure save it first if you're gonna do any moving around of any of that stuff 
Absolutely. Yeah, that's the path I use every single time. That should be the same for everybody. There's no reason that would be any different. Alright, I have no idea if this is cool, but I am just absolutely winging it right now with this chandelier. From down below, it does look pretty crazy. I wonder if the top one is too much. I should just leave the, the bottom two like circle thingies and, and not do the top thingy. From up here, it looks kind of cool with the top thingy, but from down low, the top thingy kind of maybe seems like it's too much. Or maybe it doesn't. I don't know. Let me do... I think I am going to put more of these root masks in the top, though, if I am going to leave it. Place the small save with the big one. Yeah, make make it easier for me. So we got root masks in the bottom and in the top. I definitely want to do. Crypt keys for some actual like lighting come up coming off of it. I think that'd be really cool. So I'm going to put those on the inside. Gosh, these things give off so much light. Assuming his Steam is installed to the default directory. Yeah, that's fair too. Uh, I think that this might look cool with those in the middle. Oh, you can't even see the top if I do that because it's so bright. You really don't need the top though, but I'll leave the top. And then in the sides, coming up with something to put in the sides is going to be tricky though. Oh, your Steam is on a different drive. That's interesting. Um, Release game, reload. Did you figure it out, Chris? How's it going? Oh, Sterling trophies. Spawn. Thank you. I was, I was wondering what else I could use here. Oh, later, Snow Leaf. Didn't see that. My bad. Hope you have a good night. Thanks for stopping by. Focus saves are under your directory. Trophy Sterling. Eight. Enter. Two, two, two. Two, two. Two and two and two. Nice. Pretty cool. I'm happy with this. I don't know what I'm doing when it comes to chandeliers, but I like it. I like it a lot. Also, if you hadn't noticed, I kind of set the music to kind of ramp up throughout the stream. You guys let me know if you don't like it and I can put back on the chill stuff. But I figure, you know, we're getting tired a little bit long stream. Maybe have the pump up music near the end. 
Casey, I dig it. You dig it? Nice. Okay. Because I don't know what I am doing when it comes to a chandelier. This is kind of just winging it. Now, what I am realizing is, though, I could also line all of the arms, like, down the arm, too, and have, like, way more stuff. But sometimes simple is better than, you know, crazy. Looks like it's lost. Man, that sucks. I am sorry. I am sorry, Chris. You could always pop on dev commands and just like spawn in your stuff that you had and like try to rebuild what you did like quicker. I know that that's not going to cut it and that's going to, you know, it's going to be really hard to reproduce what you did. But with dev commands, you know, in a few hours, you might be able to fix, you know, you know, restore a lot of time. Hang the brazier. Yeah, so I thought about hanging the brazier from the bottom. I absolutely thought about doing that. But the problem is, is the smoke. It will absolutely, you won't be able to see any of this chandelier if I hang a brazier from this. Um, I could do skip time. It is going to be really low if I do that too. I could do skip time so the brazier goes out. Oh, I can't anyway. That answers that question. I was going to say, I could do skip time and it'll go out and then no smoke and it'll just be decorative. But um, this is red anyway. I can't place anything else. Wow, I got lucky with that. I got really lucky with that. Um, Alright, the dining room is looking good. Looking really good. Got a chandelier in here, filling out all the space. Um, all the little details on the sides, loving it. Details on the tables. Oh man. Dining room looking good. Let me check my other PC. It should have pre cloud saves. There you go, there you go. He's got PCs on PCs, this guy. Um I mean technically speaking, the build is actually done. Which is what's crazy. I don't know how to think about this right now. What to think about this? I'm definitely going to do some touching up on the outside. So, do that. There are some things that I think could use some more details out here. Um, I just tuned in. This looks so cool. Crazy, impressive build, dude. Thanks, Travis. What's up, man? How you doing? Good to have you. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, this is stream number five. I forgot to update the title. So this is stream number five, actually, with this build. Um, I'm going to be doing a, a walkthrough tour video of it, uh, filming it tomorrow, editing the next day, and then hopefully Saturday morning it'll be out on the YouTube channel. Um, so if you want to see it all, you can check it out then. Also, at the end of this stream, I'll do a fly-through of everything once again to end the stream. Um, and that's going to take a minute. There's quite a lot going on at this point show you the bridge underneath what's the instance count uh 15 and a half thousand now so you know yeah i it's honestly probably good that it's that the build's done here because if i go above like twenty thousand, i mean if i get to like 22 and up and up you know it's just it makes filming really difficult it's so choppy with the the cinematic camera and everything 13k is your guess well you were pretty darn close 14 and a half it is my friend lots of little details in this one oh, i need to light all these spawn coal oh if i knew how to type All right, I got a lot of lights I'm going to have to light back up, but that's okay. Aside from adding a building or village in the back, it does seem pretty complete as is. No, I, I would agree. Um, you know, I could continue with this, but the problem is I would, you know, I'd be real. I could build like one building on top of this, but, you know, it, it just the camera would already be. 
I wonder how far back I would have to go back here to for it to restart my instances. Pretty far. Yeah, farther than I can't keep digging the river this far. The hill's too tall. I did dig the river this way. Um, which I need to finish expanding and make it all look pretty and round out all the edges uh, because I'm connecting it up to one of the other five builds in the world uh, the build tour series they're all in this world you can see on the map here there's uh, five different houses cozy water wheelhouse island starter base Gandalf's workshop underground house Iroh's treehouse pretty awesome to have a whole village but yeah but the the, the village the you're right it just couldn't hang um, if I went all the way over here it's still counting the instances all the way over here so um there's little i don't think there's really anything i could do i could come all the way over here to this lake maybe build on this lake yeah down to five thousand instances now instances i could build all the way over here and that would put a build in between the bridge build the bridge tower build and the underground house build that could be cool um but yeah unfortunately no village capability Way more complete than any of my builds, huh? <laughs> you didn't know the game worked like that? Yeah, it's a shame that it does, man. It really is a shame that it does because, you know, it just puts such a limit, you know? But, I don't know, when Minecraft came out, you couldn't build anything. So, by the time, like, Minecraft today, you can build entire worlds. Like, like they've literally recreated all of Lord of the Rings there's almost no limitation anymore so i mean there is at some point but you know i'm assuming at some point they're going to go back in and optimize this game there, there will be a point when you can build bigger things but at the moment there is definitely a limit i like to think that we're all like early adopters and that it's early access and at some point you know minecraft's been out for what 10 11 12 years so you know Maybe in, in the next few years, this game is just going to keep getting better and better and better. And the potential is just going to keep rising. But we will just have to wait and see. We will have to wait and see. Let me add a little rug right here. I'm really trying to figure out some final details I can add all over the place. Maybe some banners here and there. Oh, the dining room. I could add some banners in there. Oh, not really, actually. The walls are pretty packed with stuff. Maybe in here. Nah, not really. Yeah, the dining room is pretty packed. This isn't really how I wanted the dining room to be, like with these staircases, but I just forgot to connect up those rooms, and at that point, there was no other way. So that's a bit unfortunate, but I still love how the dining room came out. Once Iron Gate is done with Valheim, they might redo the engine as part. Yeah, I actually agree with that. Like No Man's Sky, yeah, which they completely overhauled and fixed. Two years from 1.0. That's the thing is, we're just early adopters, you know? Like, that's that's what it is. As long as we stick with it, by the time the game comes out, I mean, we'll know so much about the game and we'll be so ahead of everybody that it'll just be, you know? We'll just be soaring through having fun building crazy awesome things but you know we just gotta wait unfortunately i mean the potential is still there too you can still build some pretty sweet stuff it's amazing that valheim has already sold 10 million copies that's what's crazy it's like they really gotta figure it out get with the program before they wait they like waste all that it was really uh fun having you ixy thanks for stopping by and hanging out tonight and chatting and uh yeah have a good night and everything Saudi Arabia, that is crazy. That is so cool. That is so cool. Have a good night. Just punched my smelter. Haha, <laughs> I'm not the only one. Did it punch back? <laughs> so, I kind of want to add some more details over here still, but like, I really don't know what to do. Maybe just add like. Another one of these little custom crates right here. Scoot it over just a little bit.
So what should I put in this one? Probably some oops, caps lock. I'm trying to think what would look really cool other than the barley wine, which is like absolutely perfect for that. I could just do other potions, I guess, actually. Oh, dang it. I gotta change all those. And I stuck my hammer to the thing. I don't even know how many times that is today. Like, at, at least 50 times I've had to pick up my hammer from an item stand, an armor stand, horizontal vertical item stand, doesn't matter. One, two, three. How many can I get in here? Four. Five, six, okay, 250 so far, <laughs> what will I build next, that is a very good question, I had some ideas, but honestly, I don't know, like, I mean, what do you guys want me to build next, you know, we're sitting here, we're streaming, what do you guys think, you got some ideas or anything? And I stuck my hammer to it again. <laughs> I need to fix this. Village in the sky. I thought about doing that. I put that on some of the polls, but the community polls, but it didn't get voted. Swamp iron mining, but I put it on the plains rocks, like up really tall on the really tall plains rocks. I really want to do a build like that still. And maybe even connect it with like a couple of really tall planes rocks like infinity hammers fixed so i can spawn them in next to each other and i could do like bridges in between and stuff and it looks like a you know it's not a floating city but it's really tall up in the uh on the rocks island citadel that could be cool giant sphere planes rocks and you love it yeah like i i've seen builds like that's the only reason why i didn't do it because for youtube i do have to try to take into consideration like I try to I don't always like this build I didn't really do any research on I just had this idea and I was like I really want to do this but I'm, I should be making sure that like it's something that hasn't been done too much because that's you know but still something that's cool um because I have seen planes plane spaces on the rocks and so that's why I'm like ah maybe I shouldn't maybe I should cross three pillars yeah see that's what I want to do it that sounds so cool that sounds so cool. I'm also thinking about going back and doing another treehouse base. And um, because like here, I can show you where's the treehouse base. We're going to fly to the treehouse base. I hope everybody's cool with that. We're going to up the speed and we are going to fly over here. Oh my God, I've never had the speed that high. Hopefully my computer doesn't shut down right now in the middle of this stream doing all this. All right, I got to slow down. All right, should be right here. So I absolutely love how Iroh's treehouse came out. Shout out to Avatar the Last Airbender if anybody's seen it. This is Uncle Iroh's tea shop in the sky. Have you ever done a swamp treehouse? I have not. I have thought about doing that, like a haunted swamp treehouse. Here, let me write down some of these ideas. So haunted, so, oh wait, I just added haunted swamp treehouse i really want to do a treehouse build oh i wasn't going to tell you guys about that dang it never mind never mind never mind never mind <laughs> i'll just tell you i, I want to do a massive treehouse build in the ashlands or in the mistlands when they come out because those trees are so cool like it's going to look like some like um like the elves and lord of the rings of the trees have you ever done a swamp treehouse let's go i love this build too well oh, you guys have seen this i'm going to show you anyway but the inspiration for more tree houses what this was all just practice like and I was using the infinity hammer mod to spawn in all these like bushes and stuff and I can make a really cozy area and uh, 
with Infinity Hammer, I just learned, like, I can spawn in all these trees and make this really thick thing to work with, and I don't know, there's just so much potential here. This was a lot of fun doing, and I just, I want to do it again. So, Infinity Hammer is fixed. I could absolutely do it again. All the lights are out, unfortunately, so uh, it's a little dark. Oh, wait, also, the time of day I think I used was 0 0.5, maybe? So that helps, too, just changing the time of day. Um... But just made a massive, massive swamp tree. Yes. Or you made a mess. Not pretty, just big. <laughs> hey, there's nothing wrong with that. Functionality is really all that matters in survival. Yeah, I just love how this build came out. I could have done, I could have kept going and done more units, but I wanted to keep it simple. It was at, yeah, this is only at 6,600 instances. Like when it comes to instances, uh, treehouse builds keep it really low. And that's what's really nice about them. You know, you don't have to build, like, big giant foundations and stuff. And, like, I don't know. Try to connect a ring around bone mass. Time of space is nice in survival. Yeah. Exactly. Underground house, cozy wheelhouse. Island starter base. We'll go over to the island starter base. I'm so happy with the island starter base, how that, how that turned out. I uh, I was really trying to come up with like the perfect starter base. Like you put it on an island, so you're not really dealing with like events and stuff, and you know you got everything in the crafting tab that there is, and you know even though you're not gonna have some of that yet, it's it's kind of the ultimate starter base because you will soon, and like everything is here. Yeah, and it's and it's it's cute. It's like on a little island, little bridge connecting and stuff. I did have uh, two people actually come into the comments and say like, but this is not a starter base, <laughs> you know? And I was like, well, I mean, I guess if you want to be like all technical about it, but I don't know. I love this base. Docks over here, two-tone two docks, outdoor kitchen. Definitely going to be doing something like this again at some point with the outdoor kitchen. I love how this came out. Like the little center area for the cooking and everything. And what's nice is like because it's on an island, you can you can build like this. Like the outdoor kitchen. You don't have to worry about all this getting destroyed because I don't think you can get events here. Now don't quote me on that. You might be able to. Uh, but even on Reddit, people were talking about it. And I didn't know, so I didn't want to say for sure. But even on Reddit, people were saying like you won't get events here. So... I don't think you will. Fireplace turned out really cool. Kitchen is your favorite part of the build. Yeah, it's so cute. The little kitchen out there. And the workshop down here, I think, turned out really nice. I don't know. I just love this build. Also, I was kind of experimenting with, like, some, like, modern-looking type of roofs here with the, the workshop. I thought it was cool. That's what they were saying on Reddit. Bats was the only thing people says. Maybe bats would, would show up. But um, you can? Okay. Okay. Because I didn't get one while I was building. The, the whole time I was out here building, I didn't get one. But if you can, you can. Actually, now that I think about it, somebody did say that. Wait, hold up, hold up. I'm going to just pull up the comment. What did the guy say? I wish I was good at streaming and I could pull up what I'm looking at on the screen and show you guys, but I honestly don't know how to do that without, like, completely screwing up OBS. Raids, oh, no, he did say, he said, bat raids can still spawn on islands because their spawn radius is way bigger than workbench radius. So I guess he's saying, basically, that the other events can't spawn here because the workbench radius on my island covers pretty much the whole island, but, but, uh, bat raids are, their spawn radius is different than the rest. So, and he said, tested and confirmed with my previously raid immune island. So, yeah, bat raids for sure. But I believe that is it. I vow to never kill a bat again. Some will still come attack. Skeletons. Oh, I see. So they'll spawn far away and it won't matter. Okay, 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 I see. Oh my god. Okay, you can make it go too fast with the fly speed. That is scary. 
Boom. Oh, that's so cool. They killed all my pets. You didn't kill the bosses on this server. I don't believe you have raids. Oh my gosh, I'm an idiot. That's why, Casey. I forgot because this is a new world that I spawned um, for all the tour builds. Thank you. I completely didn't think about that. That is so true. That's why I'm not getting it then. You can fly as fast as you want. It doesn't break the game. It just takes too long to load in your destination. That's cool. Well, one of you guys showed me the other night that you can adjust the fly speed. I didn't know that, so I had no idea. That's pretty sweet. That is super sweet. All right, so back to finishing touches. I got a little distracted there, but... Basically just trying to add like little details here and there. I don't know what to add to this dock though. This like curvy dock. There's not really any details I can add that like look like they're supposed to be there. Maybe just like some of these. Nailed it. Absolutely nailed it. Alright, time for some general updates, or upgrades, see if I can find anything. <laughs> you are welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, yeah, that actually added a lot to that little curve there. I like that. It needed something. Big space over here too. Oh, there's a problem there. Got it. Um, a bench there. A bench there? I don't know. Definitely just want to fill in any gaps that are still left. I think the warehouse and the treasury is good to go. Oh, my phone's yelling at me. Bedtime reminder. Man, the stream has been mayhem to my bedtime schedule that I've been trying to adjust to. Woo! Absolute mayhem. <laughs> but that is okay. I'm loving it. Streaming is, I think, perfect for uh, these build tour videos and these builds. Absolutely perfect. What else? What else could I add? I wonder if I should do like a little bit of a fence over here. That's probably too tall. And it doesn't line up anyway. You rugs in the docks? Okay, let me try that. I'll try that. Let's see if I can get a little like something in here. No, uh, that's not right. That's a bad idea at all. I actually hadn't thought about putting rugs down from the docks. That looks a little weird, but I also kind of like it. I wish I could get the same height as this. No way that's going to line up right though, right? Actually, it kind of does. It's just a little bit off. Let me see if I can... Normally, I might not spend as much time. Well, no, I would. But right now, though, I do want to get this. Do all the little finishing touches. So, All right, so I think... Boom, right there would be absolutely cool. 
Let's see. Yeah, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Boom, boom, done. It's actually the height that I wanted that to be at, and that looks nice with the other side. A little bit of symmetry there. He rugs a lot on the, on the docks might be nice. I've learned a lot. <laughs> um, what else, what else? I still don't know what to do with this wall here either. I never did anything with it. I'm sure there's something clever I could do with that, but like, I don't know. Like I was trying to think if, if, if I could do, I don't know. I do know I want to plant some, some more trees. So I'm going to do that now because I think I can actually spawn them on this rock. Which, yeah, doesn't really make sense, but on a little patch of those just to keep the woods kind of feeling like they're there. Whoa, heck dear, chill out, heck dear, chill out, chill out, chill out. I think the wall looks fine as is unless you want to build something back there. Yeah, I thought about building like a little yard there for the crane to pull stuff too, but I just think it's too off to the side. It doesn't really... It doesn't really make sense in my opinion, but I could do that, but I don't know. So I was thinking about maybe I could do just like a stone wall there too, but I don't really think there, like there's no need for it. It, it looks kind of cool, like naturally going up to the, to the hill, I feel like. All right, so some rugs on the docks. I wonder where the best place for some rugs would be, and of course, which type of rugs. Let me actually go back to the deer rug. I wonder if I could just like tuck in some rugs under some things. Cause that usually adds a nice bit of a nice little touch to something. Actually, this one I do not like. Uh, possibly the lox rug would look better there. Yeah, the lox rug I think looks much better there. Yeah, see, I think that's a, that's kind of nice. It's kind of adding a line there, and it's it almost just like makes this area seem like it's supposed to be like this like maybe this is a canvas on the docks that they set this on so it's not directly in contact with the wood or something natural is nice okay nice i will leave that natural wall then for sure let me see oh and i dropped my hammer again into an item frame I, it's like f at least three dollars at this point i don't know <laughs> uh okay let me see if i can actually slide the deer rug yes Yes, yes, yes. Just like that. Way back a little further. Um, no room to do it there. Oh, I love that green glow with that. $3. Nice. I'm glad somebody's keeping count. I'm just so, like, scatterbrained. <laughs> I can't keep track of anything these days. I like the rug idea. This has This is showing some promise. This is showing some promise. Maybe even over here at the resources. Nah, I'm not gonna be able to do. They're gonna be stick. It's gonna be sticking out so much. Nah, 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 nah. I like the rug here. I I put it here too, so like this, you can see the stone in the back. I like that. Um, maybe. Definitely a rug over here for the bench. Back. Thanks for all the info at Jeremiah. Did you figure it out, Chris? I hope you did. Fingers crossed you did. I got rugs in here already. Uh, maybe. Maybe a rug like right here-ish. Okay, okay. Already have locks rugs in here. I think that's good. I think that's good. A couple of rugs in now. That's nice. Took me hours to figure it out. Happy to help. <laughs> Happy to help anytime. <laughs> 
beyond my computer skills yeah if i lose a world honestly i have no idea what to do either all of the things that i was reading in the chat i was like that is all stuff that i would not have known to do that's cool this is cool this is one of the reasons why I'm, i've been enjoying this uh live streaming because youtube you can create a community and i can talk to you guys through comments but here we can actually all talk and share like share thoughts live and like actually like you know have a real conversation not you know not but more a more close to a conversation english good arrest uh i'm really i I don't know what else to add. I mean, I, we might be really almost done here. I ran a dedicated server for a bunch of people, so I need to understand gaming files. I see. Okay, 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 okay. If I do a dedicated server for the channel, I'm calling you, Casey. Or, or Jeremiah. Or Dean, too. Dean seems to know his stuff. Like you basically run I run a server too. Yeah, you run a server too, Jeremiah. So definitely Jeremiah. Casey. We got some names. We got some names. Man, if 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 everybody that's been talking a lot lately or anybody watching right now even wants to join uh the Discord too, we can talk there too. Don't forget about that. We can always talk there. My Discord is super dead right now. Um uh, super dead still to be honest it's definitely in its its baby stages but soon hopefully we're going to start getting some awesome valheim conversations going there where do you host it i'll tell you where i host mine but i don't know all the genius stuff you guys know i use uh, valheim server hosting.com wonderful service never had a pro well i've had had a few problems with it but they have instant contact us like they've always been there like right away to fix it um and a server's never been down for more than 20 minutes they were really great service and it was decently cheap too it wasn't it wasn't that bad at all what else can i do to this thing also i gotta figure out with these dragon queen heads that i just placed in the wall out here i might actually remove those I still haven't decided if those actually look good or if I was just throwing those on there to do something and I need to remove them. Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh wow, I actually kind of like that plane better. I think I'm going to leave that plane. Usually I don't like to leave big plane spots. Um, but I feel like a little bit of plane tower there is really nice. You do think it needs something there. Okay, okay. So maybe I was just thinking if I was going to do it though, it would be a banner. The problem is, is that I've got the yellow banners like down below it. So I feel like I'm kind of obligated to use the yellow banners, but... Maybe I can get away with it. You take what you said back. <laughs> it's funny how like the chat delay happens because sometimes I'll be like responding to things or I like I'll be waiting on things and then like you'll be responding and then you'll see it and then I'm already talking about it. It's like, oh my gosh, what am I saying? I agree, but it being plain. Take what I said back. Because if I was going to, I could do something really small, but like, I don't know what that would be. What if I just put a torch there? And I put my hammer up again. I think it's, what is that, 350 or 250 or something? I'm literally like, I've done it so many times today, I don't know how I'm not thinking about it. Yeah, maybe I could just put lighting there. So it's not a bare spot, but it doesn't have to be filled with like an entire banner. Or, or, hear me out, I could also, 350. I could also do, let's try the, on the other side, I could change the location of the banners to like up here. 
they're kind of hidden now after I've added a bunch of stuff over the last five streams. Yeah, I could just put the banners up there like that. What about that? Ban so left side, banners moved up. Or right side, just put some lighting in the center. I'm going to wait this time for the chat to respond so I don't make five decisions before anybody can say anything. I, I think I actually like the left side with the adjusted banners because you can't really see them now with all the stuff so moving them up I think is a nice decision you prefer banners down okay so banners down you would say wood accents but you already have the pillars yeah I agree usually wood accents are really what stone needs a big piece of stone in this game it's basically equal to me. They both look fine. I think they both look fine, but um, uh, I don't know. Maybe if I back up a little bit, I mean, really both look fine. It's like the two when I back up the two on the left because they're like skinnier. I feel like that tower looks skinnier, and the two on the right with everything out wide, it makes that tower look wider. Am I the only one thinking that right now? It almost like it really does look like that. Like the horizontal vertical stripes thing that I was talking about in like stream two. Go with your heart. <laughs> uh, tower with perception, right? Like that it's not it right? Like the the right tower definitely feels wider with that setup. All right, Chris says left. I'm taking one vote for left. One one vote is left. If anybody else wants to put in a solid vote on either side, put it in. Lock it in. How do I do? Wait, 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 wait. Can I do a survey? Is that a thing? Am I allowed to do? Like, everybody can do surveys, right? Share. Create a poll. Oh my gosh. This is a big moment. This is a big moment. Boom. Oh my gosh, did that work? Yeah, it did work. I did a poll, guys. I did a poll, guys and gals. It's my first poll. Poll, poll, poll. <laughs> Yo. I have no idea if there's like a timer on it or anything. I'm totally winging it with this. Two votes for left. I'm leaning left too, to be honest, at this point. Now that I backed up and it, and it makes it look taller. Two votes for left. I think that's that's good enough. And three three votes three votes for left. I have to go left then. I have to go left then. There's nothing I can do. I was also thinking left. So nice. What a monumentous occasion. The first poll has been done on the on the the TFG channel. Wow. Thank you guys for participating. I am honored to have poll participants thank you that is cool i was like wait a second i could do a poll all right let's change this get rid of these old ones get rid of the lighting get rid of all this stuff that fell oh yeah that's looking good that is looking good tfg I wanted to change my name to TFG, but there was already a guy that was TFG, the Fortnite guy. And he's got like a couple hundred thousand subs. You know what's a pain too? There is another, uh, the Friendly Gamer, and he's got my URL. But he hasn't posted a video in like five UR or five UR UF URLs. What am I saying? He hasn't posted a video in like five years, but he's got YouTube.com forward slash the Friendly Gamer. So I had to do uh, forward slash like the Friendly Gamer TFG or something. Which isn't the worst thing in the world. Could be worse, could be worse. 
Sniff so proud. <laughs> That's funny. Look at this. I It might be done. I don't know what else to do. I really don't know what else to do. So much has been done. I will point out one flaw in the thing though. One flaw in this build is that the warehouse is on this side and all the stuff gets unloaded over here. So the warehouse really I should have done over here and the treasury should have been over here where the sailors chill out and like get paid and pay, you know, but that's okay. I don't think anybody's going to care. <laughs> all good. And I'm definitely not switching all of it around. Wolf or raven somewhere? What do you mean? Oh, uh, like the uh, adornments or whatever? That's not a bad idea. Where are those things even? I don't even remember. The last time I used those, it's been a while. Okay, the raven. That's why I told you about the way around. Hey, man, you know... <laughs> I was going to mention that, but you started the treasury when I was offline. Yeah. Switch it. <laughs> no, I can't. I can't. Yeah, I should have thought about that, but I did not think about it. That's okay, though. Yeah, maybe I could, I could, I could get away with like a raven somewhere or something. Oh, maybe, what if I did, like, uh, I used to love doing this. I did it on, like, five builds in a row back in the day, and then I was like, okay, I gotta stop using these things, because I just, like, spam all the corners of my roofs with them. All right, I gotta do it on both sides to see if it actually looks good. I actually kind of like that. Nah. Oh no, I got a quick nah. That was a quick nah. How how do I say your name? What how do I can I? Wait, wait, wait. I got this, I got this. I got this, I got this, I got this, I got this. L Laron? Laron of Lingor? Yeah, Laron. I Google translated it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, nice. Wild how the width perception changed just by moving the banners. That is actually nuts. And it's crazy that in like stream two, I was talking about how the, um, the vertical lines on the roofs were going to make the towers feel taller. And that's why I didn't want to do width lines, but you really couldn't see it very well with the roofs. But then here you could have like, it was crazy how obvious that was like, that was weird. Somebody was saying, might've been one of you guys. That it was like, it's like an optical illusion almost. Ling Lingorski. Laron. I got to remember that Laron. My brain was just mumbling noises, huh? Wait, it's showing up for you guys also, and I think that's Russian, right? Or am I just the only person that that's showing up in Russian? How do you, how do all you guys know Russian now? What the heck? Everybody else is just almost far east of Russia. Okay, okay, okay. Everybody knows Russian. Everybody's a genius in this chat. I'm the luckiest streamer in the world. <laughs> Cyrillic, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's Cyrillic. I actually learned that recently. This is, that might sound kind of dumb, but I learned that recently with all the Ukraine stuff going on. Speak Russian badly. Ah, uh, yeah, I actually learned a little bit of Russian in college, but I don't know any of it now. I don't know any of it now, and I certainly have never learned how to write it or read it. I don't know. Knowing, knowing 
having Russian friends that teach you a few words is definitely not knowing a little bit of Russian. But I say I knew a little bit of Russian. Sokol Sokolin Island. Whoa. Where is that? So Sokolin Island. Wait, 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 wait. Sokolin Island. I want to know where this is. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I see. Yo, that's cool. You're an islander. That's cool. That is definitely parties. 4.6 stars on Google. Nice. Yeah, cool, cool, cool. I don't know what to do. The stream might be. I mean, what do we, if I can't find anything to do? I don't know. Like, guys, I mean, I cannot switch the warehouse and the treasury. I cannot do that. That's going to take way too long. Oh, how are the Ravens? What do you guys think? I actually kind of like them, but I'm biased because I love that on roofs. I, I, I actually love that look. The wolves, I feel like, don't fit as well on, like, the corners of the roofs. But the birds kind of make sense because it's like a bird perch. I got this. We could scout new build spots. I'm not opposed to that at all. I did it again. I'm going crazy with the pulls tonight. Ravens or no Ravens? <laughs> ravens or no Ravens? The nature is just tremendous. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. I was watching a video recently on the Azores. I don't know if you guys have seen anything about the Azores, but it's made me really want to go there because they have such cool nature and they're like, it's like a string of islands, I, I guess. But I think it's all one thing under the name the Azores. Um, good with the Ravens. It is an Asian shirt. I like them not overdone. 60% for the Ravens. I have a lot of build ideas for myself in my head. Yeah, so maybe, maybe let's, let's scout some build spots then. And you guys can help me come up with like a good, um, a good theme for the next build. I wouldn't mind doing that at all. Okay, so just barely the Ravens won. I was kind of feeling like Ravens, so if I added my vote, they would they would have won. So I'll I'll leave the Ravens. All right, so when it comes to spots, should I go to the swamp? I could go to the swamp, but then I have to do a treehouse build then, and I'm gonna do a treehouse when Mistlands comes out, so I might need to chill out on that for now. What build ideas are you interested in? Um, yeah, I agree. I don't want to overdo the interior. Uh, more votes for Ravens. Nice. Okay. Uh, build ideas am I interested in? Actually, I have a build ideas list somewhere. Um, I thought about doing a giant circular base. I thought that'd be cool, but that's there's not much to go on there. I've seen a bunch of people do the giant tower bases. I had this written down a long time ago. At this point, so many people have done it. I don't want to do a giant tower base, but that would be cool though. You start off with a base of like, you know, like tw like 20 meters by 20 meters, and you do like a super tall tower. But I don't know. Um, I already did an underground base. I was thinking about doing like a mini castle, like a small castle, but then Smitty just did one actually. So then now I'm like, maybe I shouldn't do that, but I could try like a small little mini castle. Um, I've thought about trying a cliffside castle, uh, like basically building like some type of like massive platform right off the edge of a, a cliff, but I don't know how like that would work and stuff. And like in my head, I can kind of picture like having buildings like snaking up the cliffside like it could be cool but 
it might not play out well giant sphere on top of pillars in the plains that could be cool do a circle with six meter sides yeah that's what i'm saying exactly like a circle exactly like and like and maybe even bigger than that like a huge base like as big as this one basically um like in instances like it would be a massive base on the inside um but at that point it would be like another pretty much mini mega build so i don't know if i want to do that but i think it'd be really cool and you build it like going up a hill so it would basically the back of it would probably go into the hill preferably so really it would just be like most of a circle you can use roof pieces to make it a giant sphere too yeah i wouldn't mind like doing like some crazy connections up vertically and doing a lot of vertical stuff with it too interesting idea instead of building a castle instead of let me change my camera angle at least so instead of building a castle on a mountain maybe it would be better to build a small log village in a pit somewhere on a mountain so Oh, so just do like a small mountain on, or a small village on a mountain. I like the mountain idea too, because I've, I've kind of wanted to go back and build something in the snowy mountains. They look, it looks way different than the rest of Valheim. It looks really pretty. It looks nice. Pull, pull, pull. <laughs> okay. So end pull. I built up a castle mountain. It works pretty well. Just need the right. Okay, so creating a poll. Um, so, which base? Question mark. So first base would be giant, giant circular base. I will say would be really good for streaming because that's gonna take me just like this one another like five streams to complete big long sessions. Um, giant circular base. What other ideas have we really? I could do village in snowy. Whoops, mountains. Um, let's see what else I have on this list. Oh, I thought about doing like something to do with like Viking stuff, like. You know like thor's thor's shrine or thor's temple or odin's temple or freya's temple or something like that and trying to come up with like you know like i don't know like temple related stuff i thought about that if that's cool let me know in the chat and then i'll add it to the poll but if not i don't know because that might be kind of dumb i want to do a treehouse build casey but i kind of want to wait because i know i'm going to do another treehouse build when mistlands come comes out and that was supposed to come out this summer um, so hopefully in the next month or two, I'm going to be doing another big treehouse build in the Mistlands. So I kind of want to wait for that. It'll be like Iros, but it'll be different because the Mistlands trees are massive. So I'm so excited for that. Walk over the mountain freezing to death and you find a cozy village where you can finally rest. Yeah, super cozy village in the mountain would be really cool. Mistlands and trees. Yeah, exactly um what other ideas oh then i get to the build on the super tall rocks that are connected by bridges i would love to do that but i have i have seen that a couple times already so i don't want to like overdo that but building on you know i can add that to the poll if you guys want me to though i kind of really want to do that building on super tall rocks um i don't know though it has it has definitely been done so off-sized object artistic build thor's hammer done like 30 stories tall that could be cool that could be cool we'd have to come up with a good object to do if somebody's already done thor's hammer i couldn't do that and that that was obviously a good choice yeah i know if i could do if i want to do the tall rocks build i could just do the tall rocks build but some part of me is like like i should follow you know try to do something unique if 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 i can um but i don't know i do really want to do it how many pull how many options can i add in the pool a 
Okay, I'm adding that to the poll, but if you guys don't like it, that's okay. My Sky Village is a giant horizontal tube that holds a collection of houses and a kitchen. Exactly, like something like that. But I was thinking doing like that, but also have like some smaller place bases connected to it, which are connected by like really cool looking bridges and chains uh, onto other tall rocks. But yeah, very similar to that. Um, okay, what else do I have in this list? Uh, make food, maybe, uh, no, so camera, water wheel house, I already did water wheel house, multi-tiered circle, circle house, yeah, that's what I was talking about, ultimate survival house I've done, underground I've done, um, I've thought about doing um, another underground build now that I like figured out how to actually do that and doing like a massive build this time underground instead of doing like just the amount that I did last time like do a massive underground build and call it like you know maybe essentially like a village underground but I have no idea how that would work and it's it's really hard to market that although that that video did get 35,000 views or something so people did like it but i think it's just because i built a fancy bridge outside so i think what that's why i got so many clicks although the underground base is really cool too it's just it's hard for me to thumbnail that like i can't take picture like you can't just take a picture of like the inside of the cave and <laughs> like i don't know uh also connected via bridges far above the evil spawns below yeah like the bridges is what i think would be so cool about that like you could make some massive really cool vi bridges with chains and stuff like i mean we figured out the chains the other day on the stream like we figured out like five different types of chains i could do for that diagonal chains straight up and down chains small chains big chains wood chains iron chains all sorts of chains so i mean you know um yeah, I'm gonna put around. That's that's pretty much the ideas though that I that I had. I need to update this list because I've done like four or five of them, and some of them I don't know if I'm gonna do make a tower wall from tall shield of flames. Oh, I still haven't done that. Thought about doing that. Whoa, that's cool. This is where I had my uh, village checklist in this notepad. And I already, that's cool looking back on that. I had sketches for the longhouse and stuff. Um, Pretty extreme buildings and tops of rocks, but since the setting is so extreme, true. You could call it something like Lord of the Rings sounding for the underground village would do well also. Yeah. What's up, Jeremy? How you doing? Meaning you can make interesting, not traditional designs. Yeah, I agree. So you could do some crazy stuff on top of those tall rocks. And I like the idea of that underground thing. Because actually what I have written is underground dwarven city type of thing. Um, so Lord of the Rings vibes is totally something I could go for. But if you want to get into Lord of the Rings, I've already thought about multiple times doing a Shire build, doing a, like uh the forest with the tall trees like i don't know there's lothlorien and then there's the other one um there you know i could do any of the underground dwarven cities take inspiration from those uh you know there's a lot that i could try to do from lord of the rings so i could definitely do that but yeah i love lord of the rings too i would love to do a lord of the rings build and i think people would like that too but I just don't know. Um, I don't know. Shire build. It's multiple underground houses connected together. That'd be cool. That's what I was thinking though. Shire build. Once I learned how to do the underground houses. I was like there is no reason I don't do a Shire build now. <laughs> like if I go to the meadows. And I find the right area. I need. There has to be a water near it somewhere for the lake. I have to build the inn. And if I build like three. If I could build like three hobbit huts. I mean, that could be so cool. And I could do like a, a build tour series where like the tours are 
like I do a tour of the first house, and then a tour of the second house, the third house, then the, the tavern or whatever it's called, the prancing pony or no, that's in uh that's in Bree or whatever, I think. But they haven't they have like a tavern in the Shire or something. Whatever it is. All those sound great. Yeah, so I don't know. It's a Lord of the Rings build I could do. An idea. You ever see those big rivers that generate sometimes that get cut out and have the sheer walls? Um see those big rivers that generate sometimes they get cut out. Maybe I maybe I know what you mean. I don't know. Uh what should I take take out? Massive underground base. Oh, just... Oh, I'm gonna have to take something out to put. I can only put four options on the pole. Yeah, they're gonna be difficult to build on. Is the thing. I do agree with that, and that's why that's why like the idea of like the cliffside castle is really difficult. I don't know if that that could ever work because. Cliffs work so weird in this game. Where's the follow your heart option? <laughs> All right, boom, ask your community. These are the options. Whatever wins this poll will be my next build. I think they're all good options. I wouldn't mind doing any of them. Yeah, the giant circular base really is going to be something really cool you build that into a hill like it cuts back into the hill and like it's got like stages to it lord of the rings inspired is there's so many things i could do probably do the shire though based on tall rocks with bridges which is going to be sick because all the bridges and the chains hanging down massive underground base like massive like village or something underground could be really cool you build along the ragged ridge line of a mountain you can get a castle with a ton of verticality okay along the ridge line of a mountain that's kind of what i was thinking too and even go like up and down on it and like have things that are like houses and stuff that are literally lower and i was thinking maybe even if i have one off to the side um i could cut into the mountain and do like a little underground house by spawning a rock if that makes any sense i don't know if that makes any sense at all it's just a matter of of what one first yeah honestly that's what i'm about to do is write down each of these four ideas and probably just do these all in some order <laughs> the cool thing about the uh that, that's the cool thing about this is i think they're all fun ideas or the rings inspired uh based on tall walk, rocks with bridges Bridges, I sh and I'm going to put and chains in my notes, so I remember to do that. Massive underground base. Nobody likes the underground base. That is good to know. Well, maybe just not as much as the other options, I guess. So, we got five votes. And Giant Circular Base and Lord of the Rings Inspired are tied. That's a problem. <laughs> that is a problem. The Shire is cooler than a massive underground base, in my opinion. Yeah, I, I think I agree with that. So that's true. That's true. That's true. That's true. I would love to do the Shire too. Um, it's just like I have to find, I'm going to have to find a really delicate balance between building the uh shire like little hobbit holes and also um not building too much in them so i can build multiple of them 
all next to each other before I get too laggy or too uh, frame ratey. Oh man. I'm the tiebreaker. One more pull? What what should I do if I do one more pull? A Game of Thrones Iron Islands build? I thought about doing some Game of Thrones stuff, but like, I don't know. Everything in Game of Thrones is so massive. Like, so massive that like, I don't know if Valheim is ready for something like that. Like, I saw some guys on Reddit. They were rebuilding the entire city of Riften in from skyrim and i wanted i just like i couldn't tell him i'm sorry i'm too nice i could not tell him but like i wanted to just be like guys this is really cool but like there's no way the game can handle that yet like it's you're gonna get to a point where like a couple buildings in where you're maxed out the scale they were doing that they were trying to do it like two scale and i but i don't know i don't know whatever happened with that it was a really cool idea I'd love to do Game of Thrones stuff, but I don't know what I'd do. Oh, do another poll with just those two options. Okay, so for my next build on the YouTube channel, um, please take the poll. Which build? Um... And okay. All right, so there is the next poll with just the two pretty much winners of the um, last poll. They were tied. So you guys let me know what you want me to see or what you want to see me build next on the channel. This is the current build, which I'll be making a tour video of over the next two days, doing all the editing, and hopefully Saturday morning the video will be out. This is the tower build harbor area. It's got a full interior done on the inside. Crazy amount of details in there. Lots of details out here. Full crane, lifting things around. Um, all sorts of stuff. The suspense. <laughs> I'm not even looking right now. I don't even want to look at the pole right now. I'm just flying around and showing the base i'm honestly nervous and excited because uh, no matter what i can stream it now now that i can stream so it'll be a lot of fun to stream the whole process this time of like a mega build pretty much because both of those are pretty much like small mega builds like little mini mega builds weapons rack That'll be the Shire, by the way, pretty much. If if I do a Lord of the Rings build, I'll most likely build the Shire with a couple of hobbit holes next to like a lake, probably in the meadows. And there will be like the the tavern that's in the Shire. Um, and then giant circular base will be a just a giant uh, circular base, which hopefully will go like back into a mountain, almost like Minas Tirith in Lord of the Rings, if you know what I'm saying, where it kind of goes into the mountain. What will I build the circular base out of? Uh, most likely the wall will be, the bottom of it will be stone. And it will go into wood. They're going to be really big tall walls if I do that. And uh, the base itself is probably going to have some structures which go up pretty tall. Same stone bottom, wood top, uh, circular inside. So there's going to be like a massive like courtyard and outdoor area to work with in there. Probably a huge like garden. I don't even know like so much like room to work with it's gonna be so sweet to do that like a big circular base you don't have to worry about any corners like you know you've just got this big circle area in the center oh it's gonna be so sweet i've been wanting to do that for a while but i've been shying away from large builds but screw it i can stream it now so i might as well do some massive builds might as well do some massive builds i still am like freaking out how cozy this little room is right here I don't know what it is, but I love how cozy this little room is. Stone, wood, dark wood roofs probably too. I always go with the dark wood roofs. Um, you know, 
Show me little details in the dining room. Got a mead rack. A food rack over here. Dinner table. Alright, I'm about to check the poll. I haven't I haven't looked at the poll yet. I have not yet looked at the poll. All right. Oh, it's giant circular base. Let's go. So I think I'm actually going to do it in the order I wrote down. So I'll do giant circular base. Then I'll do a Lord of the Rings inspired build. Then I'll do a base on tall rocks connected by bridges and chains in the plains. And then a massive underground base. And then hopefully at that point, the Mistlands will be out, and I can do my plan for the... Oh my gosh, somebody voted Lord of the Rings inspired and tied it tied it up. <laughs> um, but hopefully, I can... Uh, I can do the Treehouse in the Mistlands. Hopefully, that'll be out by the time... Uh, by the time all of these builds are done. Which biome will you build a giant circular base in? That is a good question. Um, when it comes to big hills, I'd like to build it on a big hill going inland. Uh, you can find that a lot in the meadows biomes. Um, a lot. Like, meadows biomes very frequently coming in from the ocean have a very natural, like, sloping hill. So, probably meadows, but... I wouldn't mind also doing it like where, where I am here in the deep forest. Um, I wouldn't mind that at all. Or the black forest, sorry. How long has this event been going on? Whoops. I hope they didn't destroy anything. Uh oh. I guess I've just been standing here. <laughs> oh, Lord of the Rings is winning now. No way. No way. Game plan for your game, man. Jeremiah, Jeremiah coming in with the, the wordplay. Giant circular Lord of the Rings inspired base built on tall rocks. Chris coming in with the wordplay too. And the idea is always the Chris the idea, man. <laughs> And then Lord of the Rings comes in with the win. So yeah, I think I'm going to build the Shire. I think I'm going to build the Shire. Oh my gosh. So I've got to find a way to build a Shire house that is like just big enough to where it's like I can pack it with details, but not too big to where I can build like, you know, preferably like at least two or three of them and then still have room to build the tavern like the town tavern which i know i think i remember there was a bridge by the tavern that you see i don't know i'll have to look up like some information on the shire and try to get like i don't know mentioned this with gold i sent on reddit about how i like your reddit short videos curious which platforms you find work best um gold sent on did you send me can you send people gold on reddit is that what you're saying i don't even know i have no idea i'm so new to reddit i'll be honest uh, i appreciate that though i thank you the reddit short videos uh i make i also put them on tiktok usually and i i sometimes put them if they're not too long on instagram uh for stories and for highlights personally i'm a youtuber i i prefer youtube as my platform but um i think that every you know reddit is really cool for like you know get, gaining some conversation about your topic um and answering questions youtube is really good for like you know just videos and content instagram is good for like i don't know instagram and twitter are not really my thing 
I prefer Reddit and YouTube now, actually. I'm still pretty new to Reddit, but I do prefer that over Instagram and Twitter. Uh, I try to stay active on all of them, but um, I don't know. Just with any social media, it's really all about consistency. If you're going to keep posting, then you're going to gain an audience. You know, I just recently started ramping up Twitter, Reddit, um, TikTok and Instagram and they are all they are all gaining followers now but uh you know it's just about consistency you just have to keep with it like I've been doing YouTube for a year and a half now so um so yeah and you get you get better at editing and you learn more about the industry and everything and yeah should have put your name on there was Hawk fan okay 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 let's go on there and see what we talked about I'm assuming that was on how you liked my short videos. Oh gosh, I have no idea. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. It would take me forever to find, <laughs> find it. Uh, was it in a recent thing? Let's see. Probably on a short video, right? Somebody said, I feel like this is like the Kokiri Forest. Does anybody know what the Kokiri Forest is? Somebody said that on my Reddit build recently, or my Reddit video recently. All good, mate? Yeah. Curious which platforms you find work best. It really just depends. You can make any platform work for you. You just have to post consistently on there and find out what is best for that platform. Oh, should be in my messages. My messages. Oh, gosh. Maybe we're, yeah, so that's, so basically what I said to you now is exactly what I said to you there. Um, I just try, like right now I'm just spreading out to five different social medias to try and, you know, broaden my brand. But, you know, I think most people kind of stick with one mainly and then they just kind of like bring everything else to every, you know, to every, all the other stuff. Like all my other social medias link back to my YouTube. I'm, I am going to set up a link tree soon to, to link them all. But right now, for a while now, I've been just really trying to bring everything to the YouTube and go all in on that because YouTube is what pays me. So, you know, because whatever you get monetized on first is typically what you're going to work the hardest on. Because you can get monetized on pretty much any platform. I, I think you can on Reddit too, but I'm not really sure though. But Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, all that, you can get paid. Uh, and of course, YouTube. Man, I absolutely love how this build came out. Thank you to everybody in the chat that's been here with me over the last five streams, helping me do this. Really, thank you. You're definitely going to get a shout out in the video. Absolutely all about funneling for sure. Yeah, you know, like at, at this point in time, I'm just fully focused on YouTube and I like making videos. That's my favorite form of content. Um, but I usually will spend about an extra like half a day to a day making just curating the content for everything else while I'm at it because I've got the YouTube content it's all there I can use this to make content on the other ones uh, you know you might as well obviously it gets easier the longer you go eventually you can pay an editor and then they can do that for you and then you can make way more content and blah 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 you know it snowballs from there but absolutely all about funneling for sure oh man I love this build What a ride this these five streams have been. It has been so much fun. Lord of the Rings for the next build. Okay. I'm going to have to do some practicing in the meadows. Um, probably before. No, I could do it all on stream. I could do it all on stream. I don't need to practice that. I already know how to do the underground stuff. I need to get Infinity Hammer set up before the next stream then though. So that I can place the rocks and do all the underground stuff. And you guys can see live how I do the underground bases because it is uh, kind of cool. But it is, I did explain it in the underground base video though. All right. Set up all my stuff back to normal. I was doing all that stuff with all the interior work. All right. I really think this place is done. A little bit of grass. 
grass right there. Oh, definitely need some green over here. Nice, I can fix all this. I wonder if I should put a long ship, like kind of going right through. If that would be weird, or if it look, you know, it might look better back here. Back it up. That's actually kind of cool to have the boat like going right through. Nice. Oh, looks good to you. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. Gotta do one final picture for the TikTok time screenshot time lapse. So let's go ahead and do that. Alright. Nice, no clouds, no wind streaks. I can take it right now, no delay. Sweet. The final picture. Look at that. Whoa. All right, well, I think I'm going to call it quits here. I've got to do one final fly through. I think that would be the best thing for the VOD. But other than that, uh, that is going to be it for the build series time lapse i mean not time lapse live stream series so here we go we've got the crane over here all done a few extra details were added this stream small little details here and there um got the crane working got all the stuff outside I've pretty much shown all this we got the treasury here straight ahead i've shown that um Across we have the spa for the soldier or not the soldiers. We've got the Thank you, Chris. We've got the um, Area to hang out for all of the sailors while their boats being offloaded um, Straight ahead is the warehouse. We've got the warehouse here here. I'll just do like a quick little showing of the warehouse Which goes down pretty far 
And then upstairs we have what I actually did today, which I should be showing. Uh, well, I actually did this yesterday. This is the forge and crafting room. Love how this room came out. Super cozy little room. I don't know why I like this room so much, but it might be my favorite room in the whole place. Um, pause this. Something in the chat. He goes a lot of intricacies on how to use thumbnails, titles to maximize potential views. Yeah, um, I've, I've watched a lot of stuff from him. I, I've watched um, countless hours on YouTube. Uh, you know, after a year and a half, I mean, I'm full-time YouTube, you know what I mean? So I, I, do, I live and breathe, uh, anything that will improve my, um, my videos and format and the quality of my videos. And, um, you know, so definitely Mr. Beast is a good person to check out, but he, his formula is, is also uniquely to him though, but he does have a few tips. His biggest tip I think that I noticed was to, if you really want to get into this stuff, Find other people who are also getting into it and talk to them because all the mistakes they make, they share them with you and you learn from their mistakes too. And it just saves you so much time. You know, you can be working five YouTube channels at once, technically, if you're all sharing the same mistakes with each other. And, you know, so um, that's the biggest one I learned from him. But his is uniquely uh, kind of his in, in a lot of ways. But yeah, I appreciate that though. Thank you. I did the dining room here today. I quit TV to watch YouTube. I feel that honestly. I I watch mostly YouTube these days. I love YouTube stuff. You got the whole dining room here. We got little. Oh, that must be an auto save. We've got different dining room table decorations. Oh, I'm gonna slow down a little bit on the camera. Got some things over in the corners on the shelves. The kitchen over here, which I already showed yesterday, but I'll show you really quick. Got little cabinets up top, stone ovens down low, and of course a fireplace with everything else you need for cooking right there. Since you've seen that exact video, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so then upstairs. Oh, before I go upstairs, there is the chandelier. I don't really know what I'm doing with chandeliers, so this was kind of winging it. I like it though. I think it came out pretty good. And I'll definitely be messing around with that again in the future. Over here is the bedroom. Uh, the bedroom is uh, lots of privacy curtains. Uh, we got big beds on this side and on the opposite side. We've got bunk beds in the back. Uh, we've got a nice fireplace in the center to hang out in and chill out at before bed Nice little place to walk out of the room and you know store some things or take a seat or whatever And then over here the final room is The armory which I did today as well um, And actually I think I did the bedroom yesterday. I don't know why I said that but that's okay, but weapons rack uh, looking pretty sweet like how it came together. We got the bows in the middle uh, Storage all around the outside swamp keys hidden in the back for that nice blue lighting weapons rack and TV hasn't been on in months um, Armor over here on this side. This is the five starter armors in the game more storage too, of course Fireplace once again below me to hang out at armor over on this side we've got the other four armors in the game the two niche armors with abilities in the center and then the two kind of highest most armor protection on the sides and then we've got some armors to go here in the middle leather armor for the workers in the harbor and some better armor for the wolf armor for uh if there was a fight they needed to get into so that basically covers all the new stuff um and yeah that is pretty much it for this build. Time to make a tour video. It's going to be super sweet. It's going to be really long though. I'm worried about that. I will be honest. I hope it's not like a 30 minute long video. Hopefully I can get through here and show all the little details real quick. Ah. <sighs> well. I'm going to end this poll. If my squad's here. I appreciate you guys hanging out. Um, you know, like I said, I don't know if I'm going to be streaming again next week for, for one, this big build because I might do a build tips video next week. So we're going to have to see, uh, but, um, 
I really kind of want to do another build next week. That's kind of where my heart is leading me. And I'm being yelled at to, be, to go by my heart. <laughs> so um, we'll see. I might end up doing that. Um, sorry, I'm writing stuff down. Man, this this has been on. Um, all right, I'm gonna call it here. Thank you guys for hanging out once again. Hopefully, I'll be back around streaming, um, kind of either Sunday. Or Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. We'll see about all that. I'll let you guys know on my Discord and on my community tab for sure. Um, thanks for hanging out. You guys have a good night. You're gonna, Anybody that has been here in these last five streams, you're going to be getting a shout out in the tour video. So look out for that. Um, you guys are awesome. Keep doing what you're doing. And uh, I'll see you guys again soon. Thanks for hanging out. And good night. Peace.